so, you've come to hear more. More of the hero to the downtrodden. The dispenser of justice. The vanquisher of evil. Known most of all as... Death's Bank. Death's Bank had defeated the evil Lord Von Prong and discovered his life's quest was a lie. For you see, the source of the tyrant's power was a thong. A thong like the one Death's Bank wore. A thong full of power, justice, and wedging. Death's Bank traveled north seeking answers. But some answers are best left unfound. Captured by his enemies, Deathspank was at his lowest point. But low points for heroes always lead to high adventure. Hey, what's this? New content? And it's downloadable? Pinch me, I must be dreaming. Then stop pinching me because it's rude and I have a sword. Sometimes, busy heroes overlook things. These things then find their way to dumpsters. They've never figured out how, and it's not important. There are many weapons I can use at any time and in any location. Assign weapons any place, easy to reach or aesthetically pleasing. Make sure you do this incredibly exciting non- Weapons of justice when the justice meter is full. Fill the meter by hitting enemies and then smother them in rich, creamy justice.
Consume fortune cookies to unlock hints on how to complete quests. They're great for adventurers on calorie-reduced diets. Fellow shower buddy. That's Bank. I'm glad you're here. Of course you are. It's shower time soon. True, but you know the plan that me and the boys are cooking up, right? Does it have realistic depictions of violence and or adult situations? Listen, we have a cunning plan of escape, and we need your help. I've never said no to a cunning plan, and I'm not starting today. There's a drawbridge northeast of here. We want you to lower it so we can leave. Not sure I described that as a plan, much less a cunning one. Unfortunately, there's one small obstacle that's still in need of a solution. The York Guard will never let you pass Death Spank. Ha-ha! <laughs> Gratuitous violence is the answer! We could do that, or we could disguise you to look less like, well, you. Right! I could dress up like a lady orc and distract him with my come-hither look. What a terrifying image. Just keep the disguise simple, Death Bank. Right. I will pose as a mild-mannered orc soldier and slip by undetected. Good. Once you clear the way, the rest of us can follow. Oh, and beware of the jungle beasts on the other side of the gate. They'll eat anything that moves, even laundry right off the clothesline. Spank, old chum. Impeccable timing. I assume you've been brought up to speed on our most recent escape attempt. The one where we build a catapult out of plastic spoons and duct tape. That was last week's plan. We have a better one now. You see, there is a drawbridge northeast of our position. If you lower the bridge and clear the way, we could just walk out. Easy peasy. But you've missed one crucial detail, Despank. You'll never get past the guard without showing the right papers. <laughs> Silicon will solve that. Oh, let's not be so hasty, Despank. We are not without our advantages. It seems that literacy among orcs is rather non-existent. Meaning? They can't read! This is what happens when you cut funding to the schools. The orc guard doesn't know the difference between ID papers and erotic equine poetry. Well, I'm thinking they would have slightly different pictures on the cover. That's why you're going to create your own documents to avoid problems like that. Death Spank, old chap, we're counting on you. Great. 
Greetings, Alchemist. Oh, let's see what's on tap today. Greetings, Pierre. Quiet, this bank. They are listening. We must use the code. The moose is tall and brown, but today he feasts on haggis. I hear the yellow snow is delicious this time of year. Be serious, this bank. The underground is relying on you. I don't understand you, Pierre. Use your words. Sigh. Go lower the drawbridge and get us out of here. Why didn't you say so? No problemo. Bien. So you know the password then? Password. You don't know the password? You can't get past the guard without the password. Sure, I know it. The password is... Strawberry Shortcake. Despank, please. Without the password, the escape plan will fail before it begins. I guess I'm gonna need to find that password. Any ideas? Ugh, if I knew that, I would already have it. Fine, I'll figure something out. The revolt begins now. Vive la revolution! Ha! The only thing revolting around here is your face. Zing!
handy advice closely to succeed in adventuring. This detail. Tell me about it. strengthens my abilities and gives me a new hero card. Do it early, do it often. What's 
the matter? I can't go! Oh, I ate too much gnome! Say something to help me relax! Well, our password is pretty relaxing. It's... And the mighty orc marks back. I am totally an orc like yourself. See my uniform? You ugliest orc I ever seen. You sound like my mom. Show me your identification papers. Of course, good sir. I have them right here. Ooh. Is everything in order? I, uh... If you need some help reading it from there, I could... No, no, those papers are okay. Of course they are. The lone barrel of barks at midnight. And a mighty orc barks back. You free to pass. Enemy attacks can be avoided by heroically blocking. Blocking protects me from all attacks and most criticism.
Death Bank has many friends. Plugging in a second controller will allow another adventurer to join the game and defend justice. Incredible monocle sees through your disguise, Deathbank. The Nordic master requires weapons and peeled potatoes. No unkept hero such as you may defeat me. You will work until you die. Your Nordic master will be peeling you off the floor. Stylish hair and prison abdominals to defeat me. Die, minor character.
Whenever I die, I always reappear at these mysterious outhouses. This has pretty scary implications for the afterlife. Redhead woman! Oh, it's you. Hello, Deathbank. I have another important mission for you. No apology for not rescuing me. There are things you must learn, Deathbank. Boring part incoming! Forged in the ancient fires of Bacon, a master craftsman created six symbols of virtue and gave them to the purest of humans. Six noble thongs to stand against evil and remake the world as it once was. The thong of courage was bequeathed to a fearless prince to bind us together. The thong of compassion given to a devoted nun so we could all care again. The thong of peace was entrusted to a subject who would do anything to prevent war and suffering. To Santa Claus went the thong of generosity to brighten the young with hope. The thong of cuisine was given to a popular television chef. And finally, the most powerful thong of them all, the thong of justice, was gifted to a valiant knight to watch over the weak and requite the wicked. Together, these men and women were known as the Order of the Thong. But humans are ambitious and wishful and always desire more, and the thongs corrupted those who wore them, <laughs> turning virtues into vices turning the power of the thongs against us all. Spared from the fate of evil was the valiant knight whose thong was lost. This thong was never seen again. Present at the forging of the six thongs a generation ago was the granddaughter of the master craftsman, who knew the thongs were too powerful for man to wear and must be destroyed. She dedicated her life to finding the thongs of virtue and destroying them in the only remaining fires of bacon, found in a desolate place at the end of humanity, beyond the reach of the evil that is man. One by one, she sought the thongs, but the Order fought hard to keep that which corrupted and controlled their souls. It is a battle that is waged to this very day. What was the fate of the thong of justice? Lost for all time, never to be found? We need to retrieve the thongs. Oh, and by the way, I've got another package I need you to deliver. Can't you get someone else to do it? This one's for a general way up north. Don't take too long getting to him. He gets rather testy. If you need me, you know where to find me. Greetings, soldier. Feeling gun ho about this really excellent war? Not at the moment, because we're having a hard time defending our position from the attacking orcs. Buck up, little soldier. I'm ready to help. Great. Listen, there's an orc Kong tower a little ways to the west of our current position. Problem is that we ain't sure where it is and nobody is willing to go out and look. Leave it to me, cowardly soldier.
Greetings, soldier. I found the Orcom Tower. Oh, I'm surprised you couldn't see it from here. Nice work, Deathbank. Now, can you take this lit stick of dynamite and destroy it for me? I'll not only do it, I'll make it look easy. Great! Hold still while I light this. You're good to go! I need more dynamite. Okay. Hold. Hold. Now run like a man with lit dynamite. I need Oh, now run. has a heart, a straight line, and a teardrop on it. Get lost to use your map. <laughs> Great. 
Greetings, soldier. Ugh! I can't believe this outfit! What's the problem? Meh! When I enlisted, they got my head size wrong. Not only is my head exposed, it's really cold, too! Then let me deal with your dual crisis of safety and fashion. Thanks! I recommend getting it from Pouclatet's armory, up in LeBeau, Cuckle. He carries the latest in combat apparel. Soldier, I've destroyed the Orccom Tower. Ah, no! I could hear the explosion from here. Now, our intelligence says that the Orc troopers are planning a big offensive. But if someone were bold enough to attack the troopers and steal their plans first... Bold is one of my middle names. I'll get those Orc battle plans. Soldier, I have the battle plans. Great work! This will definitely help us get the upper hand on these orcs. Now, before the orc troopers have time to react, I need you to take these plans to HQ. Those plans are as good as delivered. Great! Take this pouch with the plans in it to the Army General. He'll be up at the base by the town to the north of here. Throughout the land are hidden mighty rune stones. These arcane recipes teach you powerful techniques, like hitting two buttons at the st <laughs> Greetings, 
Greetings, soldier. I heard you're planning to get through the orc blockade. Why, yes. Should be child's play for a hero like myself. It's about time someone made a move to clear the bridge. Here, you'll need this bazooka to destroy that mega bomb they got blocking the road. Nothing makes a good deed worthwhile quite like a bazooka. Now that I say it out loud, it seems pretty odd to build a blockade out of bombs. But I find it's best not to ask questions. Just try to enjoy myself. An enemy is displaying its name with a cute little health bar. It's my current target. You can then smash that enemy to the ground. Trotted, but both are okay by me. Well, heroic is better. Adjust the game difficulty to suit your play style. Greetings, soldier. The bridge is clear. Thanks, Deathspank. If I survive this war, I'm gonna buy you a celebratory drink. Ah, I wouldn't count on that. Got new helmets in stock today, so get yours now.
Greetings, foreign shopkeep. Bonjour. I am Pocletet's weapon and arms dealer. I am the hero to the downtrodden. They call me Deathspank. Why, I am downtrodden. What a coincidence. You see, I have a package filled with mystery for Farmer Blisbane. As well as a package for Captain Taint, filled with grand adventure. I am unable to deliver these, as I need to smoke and look dramatic. <laughs> Delivering packages has become my specialty. Soldier, I bestow upon you a new helmet. Ooh, why it's cozy and protects my skull from stray bullets. It's win-win for everybody. Food seller. Now let's see some of that food you're famous for, nameless vendor. male nurse. Oh, the horrors of war. Horrors? Ha! I'm having a great time! Yeah, well, people keep getting shot and then running to me for healing. I've run all out of medical supplies. Meanwhile, that sanctuary up north is stuffed with supplies. Then why don't I go get those supplies for you? Then you would be a hero in my eyes. That does sound nice. Scientist lady. Call me Lucy. Lucy Eisenbein. Maybe you've heard of my father, Dr. Eisenbein. That seems pretty unlikely. He is the foremost scientist in the field of computers and robotics. He just delivered a shipment of robots to Wotans and was on his way back here. But he should have returned by now, and I'm very worried about him. I can locate your father, Lucy. Oh, thank you.
Greetings, timid information specialist. Please lower your voice, sir. You are disturbing others. My bad. Sorry, everyone! How do I check out books here? Are you in possession of a library card? Will my meat club card work? Hey, one more meat and I get a free half rack of ribs! Ugh. In order to make you a library card, I'll need your name. Death Spank. And your date of birth? Feptober 23rd. Your library card is complete, such that it is. Feel free to peruse the shelves and familiarize yourself with our inventory. Once you have made a selection, bring it to me. Remember, you can only check out five books simultaneously. Ten four, good buddy. Ah, I see you found a book to check out. Look who figured out the Dewey Decimal System. Greetings again, uptight librarian. Shush! How do I return books? Give me the books you wish to return and I'll do the rest. I think I'll go read some books now. If only I could believe that. Are you returning a book? It did not meet my high standards for literature. <laughs> Greetings, media personality. My God, man. Don't just stand there. We're in the middle of a major catastrophe. You're right. This war is tragic. No, not that. My radio towers are all broken. How can I cover such a great story without my radio towers? I can fix the towers for you. Well, then you're a true friend of the newsman. You'll need to collect vacuum tubes before we can begin repairs. You can get some from the robots over at the old Eisenbein place just north of town. Greetings, locksmith. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Please state the nature of your emergency, citizen. I left something very important in one of my special treasure chests. It's in the treasure chest north of town. Say no more, citizen. Give me the key. Well, the thing is, you see, I don't remember what the lock looks like. <laughs> if you describe it to me, I'll be able to forge a key for it. You'd be amazed at how often I have to do this sort of thing. <laughs> Greetings, locksmith. I think I know what your special lock looks like. It needs to have a... heart and a... straight line and a... teardrop. Oh, this should do the trick.
I don't have anything to use with that. Greetings, decorated war hero. What is a civilian doing in my war room? I am no civilian. I am Death's Bank, vanquisher of evil. Huh. Mercenary, eh? I could use a man like you. I was instructed to deliver this report from one of your men. Good Lord, those poor soldiers. Dead. All of them dead. Some even. Undead. I think it's upside down. Ah, oh, yeah, well, charts are held. We will send reinforcements at once. Oh, I forgot. I have a package for you. You must work for that red-haired woman, correct? I don't work for her, but she does boss me around a lot. You tell her she's welcome to have tea at my place again anytime. The countryside is quite inviting, don't you think? Yeah. You should have seen it back before the war. Ah, oh, it was a grand place, full of hope and life and humanity. A place where men could be comfortable doing interior design. War changes things, The war never changes. War's funny that way. How has war changed things? Take the Sanctuary to the North, for example. It used to be a safe haven, a place where a soldier could rest his head and trade his wounds. Good night kisses, mints on the pillow. Damn right, soldier. But now, something don't seem right. How doesn't the sanctuary feel right? The nun in charge there gives me the shifty eye. The shifty eye? What's she hiding? I don't know, but I have noticed things missing. Soldiers! Guns! Our brave men come back healed and healthy, but without their guns. And you think the nun is behind it? I have no proof, but I'm sure she is. Are you the commanding officer here? I am, soldier, but only out of necessity. After the smoke cleared, I was the only one left standing who fit the uniform. Ah, is that the scent of war I smell? What you smell is invasion. In a few short days, the North Pole will be ours. An invasion of the North Pole? Are you crazy? Ha! Crazy like a fox! You'll never expect us to bring this war to his front door. By he, you don't mean... We are going after the beloved war criminal known as Santa Claus. There must be some mistake. Not Santa. The one you knew as Santa no longer exists. In his place is a corrupted, twisted dictator hell-bent on world domination. If it's war Santa wants, war is what he'll get. We'll shove war right up his chimney hole. Or my name's not Brigadier General Jefferson Arnaldo Snuggle Wuggle Pants. Can't your Air Force shoot down a fat man in a wooden bucket? We could, but the Air Force was destroyed by a teddy bear bombing raid. It rained plush death from above. Fire everywhere, screaming, destruction. We lost good men that day. Men with families and dogs and credit problems and bad haircuts. Plush as hell, soldier. Do not underestimate the enemy. 
I'd like to help you in your invasion of the North Pole. Can you keep a secret, soldier? Cross my heart and hope to die. I need some, shall we say, special supplies. Uh, supplies which the men can know nothing about. Discretion is the better part of Beller. What I need are more gun parts, a chunk of pure gold for the victory medals, and a detailed account of the Jolly Man's North Pole base. Head out into the ocean and scout for enemy encampments and mark them on this map. Gun parts, gold, and a map of the North Pole. Got it. Excellent. You will be made an honorary private for the duration of this mission. If I'm an honorary private, when do I get my own duck tags? You would, if we weren't fresh out of them. Last week's delivery got ambushed by Jungle Greens. If you happen to wander over there and find a pair, they're yours, soldier. But I can give you this special edition collectible button instead, if you like. Sure, why not? I'm needed elsewhere, General. Dismissed, soldier. This lock has a mushroom, a cross, and a star on it. <sighs> Greetings, locksmith. Actually, I was thinking of another lock. Your lock looks like this. You'll have to give me the key I already gave you first. I agree. It's important to recycle. All right. What does the lock look like? It needs to have a... mushroom and a... cross and a... star. Oh, this should do the trick. Greetings, locksmith. I have retrieved your important grocery list. Oh, thank you ever so much. Come back if you have any oddly shaped locks that need opening. Skillfully alternate weapons to build justice quicker. Enemies go down faster when hit with many different weapons.
tell you retreat! Random farmer. I'm not random. I'm Farmer Blazebane. I have a package for you from Polkletet. Thanks. It's about time Polk said this to me. Greetings again, random farmer Blizzbane. Uh, oh dear, what will I do? I see you don't care for snow either. Nasty stuff in white or yellow form. No, it's these rampaging robots that keep attacking my zappers. Rampaging robots, you say? Yes, they keep attacking my zappers and then consume the electrical discharge released when they die. Sounds like you could use a hero to destroy them. Well, thank you for offering to help. Uh, if you don't mind, bring me their robotic heads. But don't hurt my zappers in the process. They're my one true love, you see. This radio tower is broken. Media personality, I have the vacuum tubes you wanted. These are broken, but repairable. Ah, blast it, though. Fixing these tubes eats into valuable newsman time. I guess you'll have to travel to the destroyed city and take some photos for me. Photos with a camera? That's right, but don't waste any film. Make sure you only take photos in well-lit areas. Thank you. 
Greetings again, random farmer Blizzbane. I've destroyed the robots. Here are their heads as proof of my deeds. Great! With the robots all destroyed, you can deal with my next problem. Those pesky undead ruining my crops. They keep refighting the epic battle of Bulging Point. They must not know they're dead already. I'm on it. For vanquishing dead is all part of the hero's service. Bring me their thigh bones, because, uh, I'll need them for something. That sounds totally normal to me. have anything to use. Better lighting to take a picture.
Greetings, you adorable non-player character. Oh, hey there, protagonist. Deathbank, you must help me. The Greens killed my father. Well, at least they hurt his feelings pretty bad. Then allow me to slay the Queen and bring you her mating gland. Here, you'll need this mating whistle to summon the Queen. Queens are incredibly picky and only respond to the right frequency. This message is also a tutorial. Enjoy! This lock has a circle, a cross, and a crescent on it. Greetings, locksmith. I need you to forge me a new key. You'll have to give me the key. I agree. All right. It need circle and a cross and a crescent. 
Oh, this should do the trick. Lovebirds. Oh, please. Only bird I see is a parrot. What's that supposed to mean? I takes her to our wonderful summer cottage in the winter, but all I hears is do the dishes, do the dishes, do the dishes. Is everything okay in the land of marital bliss? This crazy woman is trying to change me into something I ain't. You mean a gentleman? She wants me to give up farming. I want you to stop rubbing manure in your hair! So, do all married couples always bicker like this? My mama always used to say that healthy arguments make for a healthy marriage. Ah, your mother sounds very wise. Her mama once attacked me with a leaf blower. Seems she was a good judge of character, too. Can't we all just get along? Well, we get along great. When we aren't arguing. Which is never. How long have you two been married? 23 years, eight months, six days, four hours. Give or take for daylight savings. And yet he hasn't celebrated our anniversary in 10 years. <laughs> the anniversary of the death of my spirit ain't no joyous occasion. Don't fight in front of the dog. You'll give him scabies. Are you kidding me? That dumb thing can't understand us. Why else would he leave little glowing treasures in my slippers? Sounds like he understands just fine. Tell me more about this lovely farm you have here. Well, it's been in my family for years. But it wasn't until I came along that it actually started growing anything. What can I say? For years, my family planted bird seed, hoping to raise a crop of blue jays. I'm a... Strunken is his own man. You can't change his nature. I just want him to pay attention to me. Instead, he spends all his time with those stupid fruits. Those stupid fruits. Don't nag me about hogging all the covers. They would if they had to share a bed with you. Ain't been no complaints so far. Strunken, the key to a successful marriage is communication. Communicating we gots plenty of. Communicating that I need a shower. Communicating that I forgot her birthday. You listen, but are you hearing? <laughs> he has too much manure in and between those ears to hear anything. Let's try some role reversal. Ima, you pretend to be strunken. Fine. I'm an uneducated hick who likes fruit more than I like his own wife. Then I'm a selfish hag who can't be happy unless I'm ordering someone around. I really don't think, uh... I like to wear socks to bed so my feet don't get cold. I still sleep with my teddy bear, Beauregard. I 
have to sit down to pee. Well, I can't manage to actually pee inside the toilet. I like to spray it everywhere. Uh, great exercise, guys. <laughs> Let's never do it again. Try to remember why you married in the first place. I only married her because I knocked her up. Please, think of the effect your fighting will have on your child. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> He's studying to be a divorce lawyer. You had a child together. That bond must mean something. I had a child, but it ain't Strunken's. But he looks just like me. Looks just like your brother, you mean. What? I want a divorce. Oh, okay. Let's just calm down a bit. You made a vow, remember? Till death do you part. Ah, nothing a good lawyer couldn't take back. I had my fingers crossed in the house. You can still make this work. You have to. If you've shown us anything, it's that we can't. If it weren't meant to be, it weren't meant to be. Huh, yeah, thank you, Death Spank. Without your guidance, we'd still be miserable together. Uh, you're welcome. Greetings, Ms. Applehole. So, what are you gonna do with yourself now that Strunken's gone? I was thinking about learning a second language, or maybe taking up Muay Thai boxing. But I'll probably just grab a large tub of ice cream and watch romantic comedies in my undies. I approve. Mind if I take a lemon or three? Ah, what the heck? Knock yourself out. It's not like I need him for anything anymore. Well, I've got things to do. See you around. Greeting, salt of the earth, farmer. Huh? What? Oh, hi, Death Spank. More marital problems? No, no woman problems this time. It's the farmers finding fine fruit from fantastic fertile fields. I just can't lose again this year to that cheating bobblewood. I know what I need to make my crops grow, but it's just not gonna be pretty. I need you to kill jungle donkeys and collect their dung. You hear me, Death Spank? Bring me jungle donkey dung! You could have at least tried to make it sound heroic. Greeting, salt of the earth, farmer. I'm still questing for that manure you wanted. Media personality. Bam! Whoa! Three devastatingly amazing photos. What are these? Is that your thumb? And this one is completely black. Did you even take the lens cap off? Come to think of it, pictures aren't needed for radio anyway. What's important is that you were there. I'll take my camera back now. I'll just turn these broken tubes into usable repair parts. There, that was easy for this savvy newsman. Unfortunately, I can't leave my news desk in case any special reports come in. Then guard your desk, noble newsman. I'll fix your radio towers. That's swell, Death Spank, but you'll be needing these first. Go now and fix those towers.
Greetings, soldier. Oh, we're gonna get annihilated. Who's going to Anahidu Hilmanab? And I'll get this. Uh, who's going to attack you? The orcs are trying to recruit the giant pips. We need to stop these two groups from joining forces, or it's game over, man. Game over! Lucky for you, I live to vanquish evil. I'll even bring you the pip's teeth as proof of my heroicosity. Oh, is that really necessary? You betcha! Again, random farmer Blizzbane. Behold, a plethora of thigh bones. Well, plethora actually means to have too much of something, but thank you. Now listen, there are still undead commanders who continue to battle, even beyond death. Sounds nice. No, it isn't. Anyway, I have something for killing those commanders, but it takes magic to work. Sounds like there's still some evil that needs vanquishing. Yes, there is. Can you get a magic ward from the Demon Witch of the North for me? You can count on me. Excellent. Take this package of thigh bones to her. She won't talk to you otherwise.
Why, if it isn't my old friend, Fong Elith Researcher. Oh, thank goodness the Hero Death Spank is here. I'm a researcher trying to gather data on the ancient Thongoliths spread across the land. But the roads to these Thongoliths are too dangerous for me. Now, I have this instrument that can take the readings I require. But I need someone who can actually get to the Thongoliths. I'll take your readings, researcher. Oh, how wonderful! I need a reading from the Thongolith in the jungle. Just drop this instrument by the Thongolith for a few seconds, and it will gather the data it needs. Oh, and if it happens to get damaged or lost, you can just come back and I'll give you a replacement. Touching that. I seem to have not a prop. I bought them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Greetings, junior reporter. The name's Scoop, and I'm an investigative reporter? Relax, citizen. I am the hero known as Deathspank. Do you need any help? Well, you know the Jungle Queen Green Man? She enlarged my mind. She's a poet warrior, in the classic sense. Is it always this muggy here? I mean, sometimes she will, but you'll say hello to her, right? And she'll say, Rawr, it's incredible. Wow, yeah, that is pretty moving. Please, take my story to the radio host. It's going to blow people's minds, man. Greetings, researcher. I have your reading from the Fungalith in the Jungle. Excellent. The data gathered is perfect. Thank you. Can you help me one more time, Death Spank? I need a reading from the Thongolith in the Cactus Forest. Remember, drop an instrument by the Thongolith for a few seconds, and it will gather all the data it needs. If it isn't the Spelunker, how's my favorite cave enthusiast? I thought I could do it alone, Deathspank. I thought I could go down into that hole and collect samples. But my phobias are back, and worse than ever. Such as? Well, uh, there's a caraphobia, uh, fear of aging. Uh, a cluophobia, fear of darkness. A claustrophobia, fear of confined spaces. And a cremnophobia, fear of precipices. And dermatophobia, fear of skin lesions. I admit it. I love that speech. How can I help? Please, enter that horrific cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me.
It's already open. Potion person, I'm looking to buy some potions. Media personality, I have a secret story from Scoop. Good old Scoop with his writing and reporting and moxie. Much thanks to you for delivering this to me. Goodbye, noble newsman.
I'm not touching that. Greetings, Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed. A jungle cave crystal. Yeah. See you at the next cave. Thank <laughs> you. 
luck has a mushroom, a diamond, and a teardrop on it. Spelunker. Please, enter the dangerous cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. It and die and teardrop. I'm
morning, Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed. A rocky path crystal. Swell. See you at the next cave. Greetings, wobbly sailor. <laughs> oh dear. We'll talk later when it's plot significant.
don't have anything to use with this. Explorer. Je m'appelle Mademoiselle Drapeau et je suis triste. Why so sad? J'ai besoin de l'aide explorant ces terres. Pouvez-vous prendre ces drapeaux et les mettre dans les stands que j'ai déjà placés? Yes! I'll help you with planting your flags. Très bon! Prenez ces drapeaux. Greetings, pirate. Yar, I feel naked. Have you considered wearing more clothes? Nah, all the other pirates be having treasures of their own. I hear there be an unclaimed treasure on Skeleton Island. Also skeletons. Fear not, sad pirate. I'll risk my life for your betterment. Greetings, seafarer of nefarious intent. Ahoy, Deathspank! Do I know you? Did we take a Pilates class together? Don't you remember me? It's your old friend, Captain Taint! Right. It's all coming back to me now. The giant sea dragons, the mermaids! <laughs> that night in Vegas! Yar, those be the glory days. I have a package for you from Pocletet. Ha! I was beginning to wonder when me armored eye patch would arrive. Thank you much, Deathbank. You wouldn't happen to have any interesting loot to spare, would you? Alas, all I be having left is this special edition collectible button. I find your eye patch intoxicating. Do you really like it? The rhinestones were my idea. <laughs> your odd sum feels incomplete without a parrot. Alas, I were a bit late in that particular fashion. 
The pet store had but one tropical bird left. A flamingo. Damn thing kept getting clubbed unconscious by chandeliers. Would you mind gracing me with a sea shanty? Alas, I traded my singing voice to a mermaid. I can't sing a note. Have you considered the literary art of spoken word poetry? No. The mermaid. She holds all me performance rights, too. She be very persuasive. <laughs> Your accent, uh, is that salty sea dog a crusty mariner? Aye, it be a buccaneer with a bit of coarse hair thrown in. I don't think so. Are you sure? Oh, fine. I learned it from a placemat at Barnacle Bill's Shrimp Fiesta. But don't tell me crew, okay? They wouldn't understand. How's that old boat of yours doing? Boat? Boat? Boats are for little girls and CEOs of multinational corporations. Give the scurvy raider the proper respect she deserves. It has the largest poop deck ever built. Can I borrow your pirate ship, Captain? Oh, I don't know. Not after what happened last time. Oh, come on. Please! I promise I'll bring it back in one piece this time. Okay, fine. What you be needing it for? I'm thinking of using it to invade the North Pole. Aye, I'll be regretting this later. But I'll let you have it, so long as you fit your own supplies this time. You might be wanting a lemon if ye not be wanting scurvy. Ye also ain't a real pirate without a bottle of rum. And you'll be needing the keys stolen from me by the scoundrel Plaid Pete. Got any exciting tales of high seas adventuring for me? Ah, yes. <laughs> Looting villages, pillaging wenches, plundering illegal MP3s. <laughs> Sadly, those days are over. So a pirate's life is not for you. Well, it's all fun and games until your mutinous crew leaves you stranded on an island. So your crew committed mutiny? Aye, the traitorous scum! Stole everything from me! I'm sure they had a good reason. Aye, but they didn't. They were poisoned by lies from me first mate. Said I'd murder them all in their sleep, said I'd keep the treasure. And those were lies? Well, no. But you be missing me point. As a pirate, surely you expected your first mate to betray you. Well, it is an occupational hazard, to be sure. But I did make him pinky swear not to betray me. Bastard. Oh, I was not aware that pirates abided by the Pact of the Pinky. Apparently not. Got any fun pirate adventures I can help you with? Alas, me crew did steal me treasure map. By gum, they did each take a piece and sneak away in the night. Aye, would you be willing to hunt down the mutinous bastards and get me map back? By golly, Captain Taint, of course I'll help you. Ah, oh, you should really learn to speak pirate. Yeah, probably. Arg! I'll be on my way. Come back when you've got your sea legs, land lubber. Greetings, colorful sailing enthusiast. Say, you're not a pirate, so maybe I can talk to you about my uh, problem. You can trust me, insecure pirate. The thing is, the other pirates are making fun of me because I'm a pirate without a parrot. 
However, I hate parrots. No, that's ironic. Well, how about just part of a parrot, like a beak or a tongue or a foot or something? Arr, sneaky idea, landlubber. All the pizzazz with none of the poop. I've heard tales of a parrot on Chicken Island. So try searching there. Greetings, Captain Taint. Hi, matey. Please stop saying that. I've got some of your pirate ship sailing stuff. Here's a lemon. Ah, a lemon, eh? No bleeding gums for you, then. Yar! Just bring me the rest, and she's all yours. Arg! Cave, you landlubber. <coughs> I be cutting it just the way as I like it. I've come for the keys to the pirate ship, Plaid Pete. Ah, well, you can't be having them. <coughs> I'll never give them to the four of ye. Just hand over the keys here in no condition to sail. Arg! So as we come into this, attacked by Gallywag of blurry mutineers!
Nein. Greetings, fellow Defender of Justice. Hi there. I'm the General's personal assistant. I handle everything the General is too busy to oversee. For instance, the Navy captain is standing by awaiting our orders. He won't do anything without this top secret paperwork. But as you can see, we have a temporary shortage of couriers. Don't worry no longer, for I will deliver your heroic papers to this Navy captain. You're a good man, Deathspank. He sailed up one of the rivers looking for orc encampments. Consider them already delivered. <laughs> Greetings, General's assistant. The war effort needs your contribution again, soldier. I need you to collect scrap metal, and I need a crap load of it. You know where I could find some. You don't know where to find scrap metal, soldier? I'm asking for a friend. Ah, tell your friend that it's scattered all over the countryside. Or he can get it from killing these damn robots. employee of the military. Seeing as how I'm the captain of a battleship, you can call me a captain. Ahoy! And you can call me Deathspank! Oh yes, the hero to the downtrodden. We've heard of your relationship with downtrodden people everywhere. Now, this is slightly embarrassing, but my ship is about to run out of oil. Say no more! I'll get that black gold for you. Splendid. I think the Eisenbein residence just north of Le Beau Cookel has a few barrels of oil. Thank you. 
Greetings, General's assistant. Ha ha! I've got a crap load of scrap metal for you. The war effort thanks you, soldier. Captain, I have your orders from the Army General. Thank you. It's about time he sent us these. <laughs> Greetings, Captain. Ask for oil, and you will receive oil. Jolly good. This will get my ship back in ship shape. But now that I'm all full of oil, I have no semen. There's an obvious joke in there somewhere, but I'm not quite crafty enough. A band of jungle greens shanghaied my crew. I'm a bit of a jungle fighting expert, so leave it to me.
Greetings, Captain. May I present to you your crew? Incredible job, Deathswank. All in a day's work. Well, the ship is back in working order, but we won't last long out there. There are just too many orc cannons along the river. Then let me put my love of destroying cannons to work. Deathbank, you never fail to delight. Now, you'll need to carefully plant these explosives on the cannons to destroy them. media personality. The airwaves are yours to clutter once more. Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Now listen, Scoop is my investigative reporter on the scene. I need you to go to the jungle and get his expose. Deathspank appreciates the importance of the media. Scoop, the radio host wants your report on the jungle. Sure, man. Give it to the man. Man. Media personality, I have Scoop's expose on the jungle. Perfect. Let's have a look now. What the blue Billy? All this says is jingle, jangle, jungle green. Looks like all Scoop's gone clock tower on me. I can't rely on him anymore. Greetings, Green Exterminator. I found the Jungle of the Lost and have also defeated the Green Queen. Great work, Deathbank. Now, there are a couple more Queen Greens, so ready yourself for more mating glands. Desert Plains. Whistle. Greens are a disease, and I'm the cure. Or at least a reasonable immunization.
Greetings, salt of the earth, farmer. I have your donkey dung. Woo! This is the perfect texture and will grow dang good crops. We are now entering phase two of this farming operation. I need more manure, but this manure need be of the exotic type. Only with prehistoric dinosaur dung can we advance my crops. If dinosaurs aren't extinct now, they will be soon.
Greetings, Captain. Your cannons are nothing more than scrap metal. Excellent work. Now we can finally get through, and maybe, just maybe, we'll find an ocean. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a ship to get ready. Chilly non player character. A quest, you say? Ha ha ha! Go on! Any foes that need a good slaying and or burial? Deathspank is on the case! A generous reward, you say? Well, now I'm very interested! An enemy's health and level is displayed over their head, telling me of their killability. Is that a word? Why, I hope so.
Danger! Danger! Low! Health! Spelunker. Please, enter the dark and forbidding cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me.
Greetings, Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed. A snowy mountains crystal. Oh, dazzling. See you at the next cave. I'm Greetings, soldier. Look upon these giant teeth which I present to you. Wow, I can't believe you just carry those around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to standing here and sporadically shooting at nothing.
some sort of magical barrier is preventing me from touching this. has a triangle, a cross, and a star on it. And, uh, star. Oh, this should do the trick. Great. Can you tell me about this war? Well, I don't remember how it started, but we will be victorious. What can you tell me about compassion? Oh, well, locksmiths are strangers to compassion. So maybe try up north. See you around, locksmith. Wealthy citizen, I am. Oh, it's Rich Cabin! Hello, friend of the rich. What can I do for you, citizen? You see, I have an ongoing competition with my arch nemesis, Derek Oil. I was featured in this magazine as the richest man in the land. And now it's time to savor Derek Oil's jealousy. If you happen to stumble across the swine, give him this magazine for me. Sure, I'll deliver your magazine, Rich Cabin. <laughs> if I could frame this moment, I would.
Greetings, Spelunker. Please, enter that horrific cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A dark forest crystal. Sweet! See you at the next cave!
the sanctuary is off limits to anyone who isn't near death. By the gracious gravy of heaven, you're wounded. Quick, you must come inside so that we may tend to you. I don't ever want to have to tell you two again. You are not to walk on the grass with bare feet. With all due respect, Reverend Mother, I... For the love of all that is holy, what part of it disrupts the pH balance, don't you understand? But, uh... We apologize, oh compassionate one. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't, because next time there will be eternal pain and torment involved. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have yoga exercises to attend to. Monk. Oh, what is this place? It looks expensive. This is the Mother Mary Josephine Teresa, Henrietta Maria Catalina Alexandra, Melina Georgina Patricia Lolita, Armada Ramada Piranha Gonorrhea, Margarita Senorita Ballerina. Bacteria, cafeteria, etc., etc. Sanctuary for the wounded. Sanctuary? Finally, the wounded have a protected habitat to call their own. We tend to the gravely injured. We do not breed them. I need to see that Mother Maria etc. lady. What do I need to do to get an appointment with her? Well, just give me a minute, and I'll check for you. Greetings again, male nurse. Behold, all the healing you could ever need. 
I don't think you understand the scale of the problem, but thanks, hero. I thought I removed all the smut from the shelves. is the statue of Lucy the Charitable. Lucy was a goddess so generous that she'd give anything she owned to anyone who asked. Food, clothes, widgets, you name it. She soon became known throughout her home village as the mother of the poor. Later on, however, word traveled about her superhuman generosity and soon, people from other villages began to travel to her home and ask for stuff. Of course, she could never say no. Eventually, the poor had taken so much from Lucy that she no longer had anything left to give. Hungry as they were, they began to eat her alive. Yes, even the bones. The poor then realized that without Lucy's generosity, they would have to either learn to fend for themselves or starve to death. Naturally, they starved to death. This is the statue of Albert the Powerful. Albert's superhuman strength was a much sought after commodity to humans. Whenever something heavy required lifting, a boulder, a tree, a house, even a mountain. Albert would do so without question. One day, a group of villagers decided to ask Albert for a special favor. They were cold, so they wished for him to move the earth closer to the sun. Naturally, Albert obliged. As it turned out, the earth was heavier than anything Albert had lifted before. And this made him immediately collapse of exhaustion and die. Hence, from this day forward, humans had no choice but to live with their physical weaknesses. This is the statue of Walter the Clairvoyant. Walter always knew exactly what was going to happen to every man, woman, and child. 
who they would marry, when they would die, and how they would spend their mundane lives. So the villagers came to him, inquired about such things, and left with greater peace of mind. That is, until they began to hear things they did not want to hear. Stories of bloodshed, adultery, and the end of friendships. Failing to realize that such things would have happened regardless of Walter's predictions, the villagers gathered an angry mob late one evening and lynched poor Walter to death. Walter, of course, knew this was going to happen and was therefore prepared. So he braced himself for the inevitable with a smile on his lips. The villagers, on the other hand, spent the rest of their lives shrouded in perpetual confusion. This is the statue of Beatrice the Attractive. Beatrice was the most beautiful of all the gods and goddesses, and every man and woman on earth reveled in her magnetic charm. To celebrate Beatrice's beauty, a group of villagers built a statue in her honor. For nine years, they slaved away at it using only the finest materials. Finally, it was time for the grand unveiling. As soon as the cover was removed, an unearthly wail sounded from the sky. Beatrice, as it turned out, was not pleased with her statue. The villagers had made her nose just a little bit crooked. Sure, it was only a tiny mistake, but it was enough of a mistake for Beatrice to keel over and die of shock thus forcing humans to search for beauty elsewhere for the remainder of eternity. <laughs> this is the statue of Susan the Melodious. Susan had the sweetest, most beautiful singing voice in existence. It was so beautiful that it made flowers bloom and birds twitter happily, and all the villagers loved it. That is, until a traveling rock and roll band came to the village and instilled in its inhabitants a desire for louder, harsher music. So they built guitars and drums and made noise with them all the live long day. Susan, in the meantime, found herself forced to sing louder and louder to compensate for the noise until one day she lost her voice. When this happened, the flowers stopped blooming and the birds stopped twittering. And without her previous sense of purpose, Susan withered away and died. The villagers unfortunately didn't notice because they were too busy banging heads in the mosh pit.
Greetings, oddly familiar demon witch. What do you want? I have a delivery for you from Farmer Blizzbane. Ah, excellent. Then you may speak. Farmer Blizzbane needs a magical war to deal with some undead commanders on his land. Well, he certainly was wise to send such mm, lovely thigh bones as a gift. <laughs> I will help, but I require some special ingredients to create the ward. Never fear, witch. I'll fetch your ingredients. Very well. I need the goo from Red Aliens. Then I need several barrelope droppings. And finally, I need the remains from inside the tomb of the unknown ghoul slayer. To enter his tomb, you'll need to be carrying this sigil. Trust me, you wouldn't want to try opening that tomb without it. Now go, find me these things. Hello there, Deathspank. Whoa! <laughs> Greetings, talking object. Do you have a problem with me having human-like qualities? Not at all. It's actually quite quaint. Oh. In that case, if you throw a wishing coin into me, I'll reward you with something special. Wishing coins, you say? I'll keep an eye out. I don't think she... Odd little foreigner. Greetings, Deathspank, intergalactic hero. Why, it's friendly green alien. I almost didn't recognize you without your parasites. Are you having engine trouble again? Correct, your assessment is, Deathspank. Responsible evil red aliens are for our current immobilized status. Parts they took from our interstellar travel device without proper authorization. Red aliens hate green aliens, they do. Curse those alien racists! No one steals from Deathbank's little green alien buddies! Wait here, friend! It's time for space justice! Again, friendly green alien, here are your spaceship parts. Hope the mighty death bank has again. Hey, anything for an old friend. Greetings, oddly familiar demon witch. Here is the red alien goo. Good. Return to me when you have the other ingredients. 
Greetings, Dr. Eisenbein. Your daughter Lucy sent me to find you. You know my daughter? Thank heaven she's still alive. If my daughter trusts you, so can I. I built these robots, but now they've turned against me. Ah, inevitable, I guess. You see, I used evil wiring. It's much cheaper than good wiring, you see. <laughs> Anyhow, they trapped me in this cage and only a punch card will unlock the door. Leave it to me. I'll punch the cards permanently. Just bring me the punch card, knucklehead. Greetings, Dr. Eisenbein. I present to you one punch card. My thanks to you, hero. Listen, the Tricor 7 controls all these robots and must be destroyed. Here are the blueprints for the Tricor 7. My daughter Lucy needs to see them immediately. I deliver them myself, but I need to reformat this punch card to open the door first. Consider the plans already delivered, except that I haven't done it yet. Lucy Eisenbein, I found your father. He wanted me to deliver these plans to you. Thank you so much. Hmm. Looking over the plans. Aha! I think I understand the Tricor 7's weakness. But I'll need a scan of a Mark 7 robot to program the control crystal. A scan? That's all? That's a piece of adventuring cake. Here is the scanner you'll have to use. You must go west to Vorten's factory to find the Mark 7 robot and then scan it. Then collect the printout and return it to me. I don't need a scan of that.
move. You may not pass. Not until you've done what I ask. Greetings, oversized leprechaun. Call me Mr. Frank Triangle. Your knees be on. For I am the king of the leprechaun. Isn't there supposed to be a bridge here? A magical bridge. One in my control. As long as I still have life in my soul. Just let me cross. A riddle you must answer. An answer you must get right. It takes more than brawn. With your mind you must fight. How many people have answered your riddles correctly? <laughs> None have been deemed worthy by my little test. Not one real challenge to my genius possessed. Somebody has a superiority complex. Proof is not needed. My superiority apropos. But I still seek validation, for my self-esteem's a bit low. Say, what's on the other side of this river? Broken promises and empty dreams, other gobbledygook. Really? I actually have no idea. I never bother to look. What the hell are you? I am Mr. Frank Triangle, the crowned leprechaun king. Logic and words are my specialties, among other things. Are all these little gnome things yours? Leprechauns, you fool! Do they look like gnomes? Gnomes do not bite, claw, or kill. They just pout in their homes. Well, I think your whatevers are adorable. Adorable like hell! You must surely be kidding. These vicious bastards will kill at my bidding. Those little things couldn't kill time, much less a person. You doubt me? Your belief is unwilling? Each of these monsters is hatched for killing. With teeth that tear and claws that bite. Each a little warrior, each born to fight. Did you say hatched? Where do you leprechauns come from? Eggs. That's it? No stupid rhymes? Just eggs? I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me, you're kind of standing in my way. Can I get through? A riddle you must answer. An answer you must get right. And then you may pass, having proven your bright. All right, what's the riddle? Two trains leave the station at the same time and place. In the same direction, on parallel tracks, they do race. Going 45 miles an hour, that's train A. Train B, at 10 miles an hour, is well on its way. But train B is not a train, it's a monorail. And after 10 minutes, the monorail does fail. One on time, the other collapsed. How far apart after an hour elapsed? Was the monorail's failure electrical or conductor error? Wrong! That was hard. Can I try another riddle? I can tap dance quite nicely, but I have no legs. What could I be, I wonder? The question begs. A pair of wind-up tap shoes. Not even close. Let me take another stab at that riddle thing. Pronounced as one letter and written with three. Two letters there are and two only in me. I'm double, I'm single, I'm black, blue and gray. I'm red from both ends and the same either way. What am I, smart guy? I'd like to buy a vowel. Nope. Okay, one more riddle. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Deathy Spanky cannot lie. Deathy Spanky says you die. Uh-oh, I don't like the way your eyes twitch. All right, let's fight, you son of a... <laughs> uh, 
I don't need a scan of that. It's locked. Hello? 
Greetings, monk. So, what did Mother Mary Teresa blah 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 say? I'm sorry, but she is booked solid for the next five years. Great. I really need to see Mother What's-Her-Face. It's urgent. <sighs> Fine. I'll check again.
Greetings, corrupted nun. Who dares disturb my inner chamber? Lady, your inner chamber ain't been disturbed in a long time. Probably why you became a nun. Your lack of a panty line suggests you are wearing a thong. I bear the thong of compassion. And with it, I gained the power to heal. Isn't a thong inappropriate attire for a nun? It was my reward for a pious and devoted life. I have been chosen to end all suffering and pain. But it is not enough. This war is a cancer my powers cannot heal. But once I unite the thongs, all the thongs, I will have the power to stop this war. Oh? And how do you expect to do that? Simple. I will kill everyone. No people, no war. Only peace. You know the locations of all the thongs? Oh, sure. All but one are accounted for. One of the thongs is missing? <laughs> no matter. Sooner or later, I'll have all the thongs. Starting with yours. What are you doing in this inner chamber? It is here that I control the gods, child. Once I learned their inner secrets, they were easy to manipulate. They helped me purge the wounded of sin and evil. What are you doing to the wounded troops? I'm healing them. Oh, you mean except for the ones you kill, right? Of course. Only the worthy will find salvation. And then I send the saved back out to the battle. Without their guns, of course. Why would you want guns? For my army of the righteous! I've stationed training camps throughout the world where my monk soldiers are preparing. Preparing for what? Once we are ready, we will capture the thongs by force! I am Death's Bank, and I'll be your divine retribution for today. I am Mother Mary Josephine Teresa. Henrietta Maria Catalina Alexandra. Melina Georgina Patricia Lolita. Armada Ramada Piranha Gonorrhea. Margarita Signorita Ballerina. Bacteria Cafeteria, etc., etc. I'm just gonna call you Judy. You stand in the way of justice, and I am your judge, Judy. I don't expect a heathen like you to understand the work I do here. The gods have seen me fit to carry out their holy and compassionate will. And that's exactly what I intend to do, no matter what. Even by nun standards, Judy, you're crazy! What's so crazy about wanting to make the world a better place? I'm going to heal the world, Death's Bank. I'm going to make it pure again. Heal the world? But you are hurting innocent people! I don't hurt innocent people, so if I'm hurting them, they're not innocent. Prepare to meet your gods in the afterlife. You may find that difficult, child. My gods are right here. I am the great goddess Beatrice, most beautiful of all the gods. So prove your devotion to me. I ask you now, Perfect is my nose. <laughs> Nine years of effort could not capture its perfection. Oh, oh, you're so sweet. I was gonna get some work done on it, but you've convinced me to stay perfect. Go in peace, brave hero. The 
great goddess Lucy, goddess of charity and generosity. Prove your humble and giving heart. I give all that I have to the downtrodden. I even give them things that don't belong to me. I honor your generosity, generous hero. I am the great goddess Susan. Tell me this. What is the sweetest sound in all the world? That which makes flowers bloom and birds sing. But that's me! You don't say. I had no prior knowledge at all. Just thought that answer up now. Bless you, Death Spank. I am the great god Albert, the superhumanly powerful. Answer the question or suffer my wrath. What is the heaviest thing there is? Don't tell me. I got this. The last thing you ever lifted. Wrong. Oh, wait. No, no, no. You were right. The earth was wicked heavy. I am the great god, Walter the Clairvoyant. I understand how others live. Prove your worthiness, or I will make you see. I think you're trying to trick me. If I answer correctly, you will attack. If I answer wrong, you will let me pass. Yes, but today is opposite day. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, yes, it is. for an I am the most so I ask no a button I am the end. Well, oh, the I'm confused. Clearly, you listen to your tour guide. It was a good tour. You are on the side of order. Excellent!
Thanks, Death's Bank. I need you to deliver another package for me. You know, you really should invest in some kind of a courier service. Take this to the Sheriff of Strumfuckle. It's urgent. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. As another dead thong wearer lay before our hero, the eloquent red-haired woman shows up to remove the corrupt thong.
Greetings, Ms. Talking Well. I have a wishing coin for your eating pleasure. Yummy. Come back anytime you have a wishing coin. General Snuggle Wuggle Pants. I have some of that stuff you need for the big invasion. Gun parts, excellent. Once again, the armed forces will be armed. Good work, soldier. I await your return with the rest. What supplies do you need again? For the big invasion of the North Pole, we still need a chunk of solid gold, a filled out map of the North Pole, I know! You pa- I- Great. Uh... What did you say happened to those dog tags again? Ambushed by the Greems in the jungle. If you happen to wander over there and find a pair, they're yours, soldier. I-
должен чувствовать этот спад. Scream Exterminator! Here's the mating gland from the Queen Gream in the Desert Plains. My father will sleep well tonight in his feather waterbed. There's only one Queen Gream left, so hurry back so I can clock out. The last Green Queen is on Gream Island. Ha-ha! <laughs> Makes sense. I suppose I'll need a ship to get there. Ooh, I've never been on an island. But yeah, I believe that's how they work. Here's the final mating whistle. attractive female. I am Deathspank. You look so strong and powerful. Please help me, Deathspank. We were headed west when a group of the awful White Rock Bandito gang took my beloved hats. Then those banditos will face justice with a capital J. Do declare, I swoon with anticipation, Mr. Death Spank. Greetings, stagecoach driver. Oh, finally some help. Me and that little lady were attacked by outlaw banditos. Ah, why aren't there ever law-abiding banditos? Take this message to the sheriff and strumpfuckle right away. Deliver your message, I will, victimized stagecoach driver. <laughs> Death Spike, thank you for progressing the conversation. Uh, it's what I do. Those dirty White Rock banditos done took the mailbags. I'll be in a heap of trouble lest I get them back. Fear not, amusingly accented man. I will retrieve your mailbags.
Greetings, Spelunker. Please, enter the cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A giant ant cave crystal. <laughs> cool. See you at the next cave. Greetings again, fine lady. I have your hats right here. Finally, I'm a proper stereotype again. Thank you, Mr. Death Spank. May our paths cross again someday. Oh, the driver still needs help. Be a peach and talk to him. Greetings, stagecoach driver. I have rescued your stolen mailbags. Oh, thank you. I'll just walk into the sunset now. Death Bank, wait! The white rock bandito leader's got a nice pearl hand. You mean a pearl-handled six-shooter? No, his entire hand is one giant pearl. With the bandito camp shooken up, their leader will be back. As compensation, I want that pearl hand. That almost makes sense.
Greetings, stagecoach driver. Here is the pearl hand from the White Rock Bandito leader. Well, I hope you killed him before taking it. Don't touch that. Greetings, Madam of Ill Repute. Well, howdy there, sugar. The name's Madam Primp, the purveyor of this fine establishment. I'm known around these parts as the prostitute with a heart of gold. Strumfuckle is an interesting place, is it not? I don't know if I'd call it interesting. I reckon it's a good town with decent, hard-working people. The sheriff's a good man. A big tipper, too. Have you seen or heard anything unusual recently? Sugar, in this business, the day starts at unusual and just gets stranger from there. I meant of the non-deviant variety. Hmm, well now that you mention it, a couple of my best customers haven't been showing up for their weekly appointments lately. I guess sandpaper week wasn't such a great idea after all. I noticed you have an ointment shack outside. You noticed that, did you? That was my idea. It just made sense. Get your ointment and use your ointment in the same place. So you're the prostitute with a heart of gold, huh? Twenty-four carat sugar. Wouldn't having a lump of heavy metal for a heart give you a serious medical condition? Like immediate excruciating death. I reckon. Wouldn't a non-functional heart make you undead? I'm not undead, sugar. If you're not undead, wouldn't that make you dead. For the right price, I'll be whatever you want. You make me uncomfortable. So, how's Trex? Can't complain. How'd you find a life of an intimacy surrogate to be shallow and demeaning? There's nothing demeaning about the companionship I provide. Unless you want there to be. That kind of sussy talk may endear you to sailors, Madam Primp, but not me. You can't really enjoy this job, can you? Don tootin' I do. I figure there ain't a better job to be had. Good money, good company, make my own hours, and a good dental plan. If you're interested, sugar, I am hiring. Madam, you couldn't afford me. I'd like to... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Request your services. <laughs> Sorry, sugar. As much as I'd like to fit you in... There's no openings until at least next year. Oh, do you make any special exceptions? Well, I do have a thing for a man in uniform. Cowboy, cop, Indian, construction worker, or biker? Sorry, sugar. I meant servicemen. The armed forces and I have 
an arrangement. Although, I do declare, those are some lovely dog tags you have there. Ah, do you like them? You don't think they are too garish? I figure I can make an exception for you, service man. But first, there's a matter of the bill. One dollar, and I'm all yours. Here's your money, fine-looking lady. Now let's get funky. Hop in, hush puppies. We're in business. Now, just pick a position from my comprehensive menu, and we'll get this show on the road. The birds and the bees. Ooh, my favorite. Now you wait here while I change into my costume. Well, sugar. Hello again, Scarlet Woman with the heart of gold. I. And here I was starting to think you'd come for the scintillating conversation. First, I'm gonna need you to. Pay Here's your money, fine-looking lady. Let's do the baloney pony. Hop in, hush puppies. We're in business. Rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Ooh, my favorite. Now you wait here while I change into my costume. Oh no, sweetie, you don't want to touch that. Trust me. Grizzled Prospector. Good day! What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. I thought you'd take exception to Grizzled. I'm seeking out the fabled bacon vein of El Bacano. But there are just so many caves to investigate. Sounds delicious yet heroic. Let me investigate for you. Hot diggity dog! I still need samples from... The Cactus Forest Cave. The Dinosaur Graveyard Cave. The Blood Mountains Cave. And the Sandy Desert Cave. Oh, and take these blasting caps. You'll need them to get a rock sample from each cave. Welcome to TGI Wharton's Drive-In. What's going on with your taco stand, Tina? Apparently, it's been bought by the fast food chain TGIW. TGIW? Thank goodness it's Wharton's. How may I take your order? You seem somehow different, Tina. Did you get a haircut? No, I didn't. I liked your old haircut better. Are you going to order something or not? 
How is your schoolwork coming along, Tina? Oh, that. I dropped out. Heroes never quit. Are you kidding? I'm making double what I would with a psychology degree. And if I play my cards right, they'll make me assistant manager. But you are the only one working here. And you are wasting my time. I'd like something that's not on the menu. Like what? Deep fried jalapeno poppers, wrapped in bacon and smothered in butter. I'd rather not be accessory to murder if you don't mind. Potato skins with extra cheese on top. Greetings, official lawkeeper. I am Deathbank, also an enforcer of justice. Well, howdy, fellow justice lover. I am the sheriff of Strombuckle. I have a message for you from some guy named Stagecoach Driver. Hmm, looks like those bandito gangs up to no good again. Though I guess I don't recall them ever being up to uh, good. I've got a package to deliver to you. This from that sandy woman? <laughs> what a nice gal. You have no idea. Tell me of your life, fellow crime fighter. Well, I sent my deputy way out west for a stakeout and told him to wait for a warrant before he did anything. I finally defeated that paperwork, and now it needs delivering. Our battle with paperwork never really ends, though. You can count on me to deliver your warrant. Well, that's mighty nice of you. You'll be around Wharton's factory in the Blood Mountains. Greetings, Sheriff. Howdy, Deathbank. You know, I've been dealing with these banditos for a long time. They steal from the town with no regard for law enforcement paperwork. I will gladly help you dispense justice, Sheriff. The first thing you all need to recover are the snakeskin boots the White Rock banditos stole. You stay here and work on that paperwork. Greetings, purveyor of spirits. I am the hero Deathspank. You may have heard of me. Welcome to the Haunted Crotch, where you can order anything you'd like, except liquor. Why can't I order any liquor? Because I have no liquor license anymore. You see, it was stolen from me. That dirty, no-good warden is trying to drive me out of business. A group of robots broke in and took my liquor license and hid it somewhere deep in the TGIW factory. At any rate, I can't sell liquor until I get it back. I'll find your mighty liquor license for you. <laughs> that would be wonderful, kind Death Spank. Oh, to dream of a day where I can once again sell liquor. This town is pretty deserted. Yeah, come to think of it, it is. This used to be a real happening place, bustling with activity. Especially back in the early bacon rush days. Could you please tell me about the bacon rush? A long time back, some folks found the hills were rich with bacon. People came from all over for a shot of striking it rich, and a lot of people did. Then things kind of fell apart. I, I don't really like talking about it. Tell me more about bacon. All right, just keep your voice down. You see, the bacon started affecting people, making them different somehow. Folks were fighting and killing over bacon. Killing over 
speaking. I told you to keep your voice down. I don't want to get arrested. Ever since bacon was outlawed in 09, it's illegal to even talk about it. Why was bacon outlawed? It became the one thing everyone wanted and everyone needed. It was too valuable, too delicious, too powerful. So if you know what's good for you, you won't be bringing it up anymore. Where do you suppose everyone went? Can't be too sure. It all started around the time the TGI Wharton's factory was set up. I know Wharton was hiring everyone away. I guess he must be pretty busy over there. So you think everyone's just busy working at TGIW's? Yep, I reckon. I'm not sure what else it could be. Goodbye, Grimtub. Good day, rural woman. Darn my husband. Darn him to heck. Ho, 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 hey! Let's watch the language! Sorry, but my good-for-nothing husband is missing. Escort me to our farm, and we'll find him, or you'll die trying. Sounds good. Well, what are you waiting around for? Get going! Greetings, banker. I am Death's Bank. And I am a banker that's in deep, deep trouble. How deep are we talking? Too big to fail deep, or just local savings and loan deep? The world-renowned Blue Basin Banditos held up the bank and took all of the money. Sadly, it belonged to the wealthiest man around, Derek Orr. I need to let him know his money has been... Temporarily misplaced. I'll deliver your message to Derek Oil. You, sir, are a true hero. He lives in that fancy house west of town. Oh, that's Spank. The bank needs that stolen money back. The Blue Basin Banditos headed west into the Blood Mountains. Blue Basin Banditos, eh? Oh, they're known for being deliciously dangerous. Well, good thing I'm known for delivering spicy hot justice. Fear not, delicate banker. I shall return the money to you. Be careful with the money. What's the whole 
Hold up, hero. We're not at my farm yet. Right. Let's keep moving. arms dealer. Show me your very best weapons. Behold, your farm. Took you long enough to get us here? Hmm. I don't see my lazy husband anywhere. He used to speak fondly of the Blood Mountains and the sweet embrace of death. Don't worry. I'll find your fleeing husband. Well, chop, chop.
Greetings, oddly familiar demon witch. Here are the remains from the tomb of the unknown ghoul slayer. Excellent. Return to me when you have the other ingredients. Greetings, Ms. Talking Well. I have a wishing coin for your eating pleasure. Yummy. Have you any more wishing coins? No sense in hoarding them. Greetings, Ms. I have... Yummy. Have you any more wish... I have... Have you... Have you... Have you... Have you... I... Mmm. Come back any time you have a wishing coin. Sheriff, I have the missing boots. Thank the gods. Now I can work on the atom recovered paperwork. Well, you celebrate your way, and I'll celebrate mine. Greetings, Sheriff. Well, how did this, Spank? Another gang, the Red Renegade Banditos, have taken Mr. Piddleford's 37.8 liter hat. Cursed metric system. It's a plague on this town. And it's doubled my paperwork. Fear not, for I will rescue this comically oversized hat, Sheriff. Well, that's right nice of you, Death Spank. Greetings, train engineer. I am Deathspank. Thank the gods you're here. There's a blockage up ahead. Rocks on the tracks. Rocks are a train's natural enemy, you see. Now, the only way to get through this is to carefully take this nitroglycerin to my conductor up the tracks at the blockage. I'll deliver your nitroglycerin with reckless haste. Ha <laughs> ha! What could possibly go wrong? Well, even a single hit from any sort of critter will blow you sky high. Same thing goes for you, too. So don't attack anything while carrying this.
Greetings, Zick. I need more nitroglycerin. Okay, but you have to be careful. If you take even a single hit while carrying this, it could blow you sky high. Engineer, I am Deathbank, hero to the downtrodden. Howdy there. I'm the railroad conductor. Conductor? You look an awful lot like the engineer. Yeah, I get that a lot. I have some nitroglycerin for you. Finally. I've been waiting some time for this delicate delivery. Fire in the hole! This oil, Derek, is broken. Rustic yet wealthy looking person. I am Deathspank. Well, how do they are, Deathspank? I'm Derek Oil. I have a message for you from the banker. Oh, horse hockey, this is bad. All my money is gone. Well, that banker better get it back somehow, or I'll see to it he's skinned alive. Then I'll allow his skin to regrow, and then skin him alive again. <laughs> I have a magazine for you from Rich Cabin. What the? Why, that old dog. 
Well, I won't stand for this laying down. Take this magazine back to Rich Cabin. <laughs> Maybe I can rub his face in it a little bit. <laughs> you have a delightful home here. Paid for by my incredibly successful oil derrick business. Sadly, though, even the rich have problems. That's not what I usually hear, but go on. Well, you see, it's like this. My poor oil derricks need repairing because they keep getting attacked. I need someone to get the parts I need. Oh, this sounds too dangerous for a man of your wealth, stature, and fragility. I'll get your oil derrick parts. Great. You'll have to look for them in the dinosaur graveyard. Although, I'm not sure why the dinosaurs keep eating them. Spelunker. Please enter the cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me.
Greetings, Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed. A Dino Grave Cave crystal. <gasps> Wonderful. See you at the next cave. This oil derrick is broken. <laughs> Greetings again, derrick oil. Here are the oil derrick parts. Great work. I'll just clean off the dinosaur bits and voila, we got working parts again. Now, I need you to take these parts to my oil derricks and fix each one that's broken. I'll repair those oil derricks with heroic ease. Oh, great. And while you're at it, you should kill off them pesky oil monsters out there. They're the ones that keep wrecking my oil derricks. Fear not, for I will deliver justice unto these delinquent oil monsters. And be sure to bring me the oil monster bits that are left over once you kill them. Spelunker. Please enter the cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me.
Greetings, Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed. A tar pits crystal. Amazing. See you at the next cave. Again, Derek Oil. I repaired all of your oil, Derek's, and I have the oil monster bits for you. Well, that's great news. Oh, you did it, Death Bank. You saved my wealth. Now, we must ensure those little oil monsters don't come back. So I need you to kill the big mama oil boss and bring me her head. I will vanquish the evil that plagues you, Derek Oil. 
she's over in the tar pits cave, but will only show up under certain conditions. Take this scented oil and drop it in the cave. And when the big mama oil boss shows up, I'll unleash furious justice and bring you her head. Oil. Here is the head of the Big Mama Oil Boss. Woo <laughs> well, I'll be. You've done it, Death's Bank. You've ensured Derek Oil's success once again. On behalf of my massive wealth, I'll thank you. <laughs> Again, Ritz Cabin, I have a magazine for you from Derek Oil. What the? Derek Oil is on the cover of Wealthy Bastards Monthly? <laughs> then the media war is on. Take this magazine back to him.
Greetings, salt of the earth, farmer. I have that dinosaur dung you were asking for. Hoo-wee, this is dang near perfect. And will make my crops be a growing to a massive size. Here we are at the final phase of my master plan. Typically, frost destroys my crops every year, but not this year, dagnammit. To keep this from happening, I'm going to be needing some frost giant manure. I assume frost giants poop just like you and me when we die.
again, Derek Oil. I have another magazine for you from Rich Cabin. Oh, you don't say. Well, this calls for more aggressive face rubbing. Take this magazine back to Rich Cabin. <laughs> we'll rub it real good. Goodbye, Dick. Again, Rich Cabin, I have another magazine for you from Derek Oil. Oh, great. Now he's on the cover of Banking and Gouging Quarterly. Well, I just happen to have a copy of this. Rub his face in this one. Rub it good.
Greetings, Ms. Talking Well. I have a wishing coin for your eating pleasure. Yummy. Come back anytime you have a wishing coin. Oddly familiar, Demon Witch. Here are some Barrelope droppings. Very good. You have done well, Death's Bank. Here is the ward for Farmer Blizzbane. Now leave me alone. Again, random farmer Blizzbane. One word of magic as requested. This is perfect, Death Spank. Now, I'll just attach the ward to this sword, like so. Ah, there we go. All done. This is now the ultimate weapon against undead commanders. Take it and go lop off their skulls. I'll double plus kill those dead commanders. Again, random farmer Blizzbane. Here are their undead skulls. Ha <laughs> ha! That'll make them think twice about using my fields as a battleground. 
Your work here is complete, hero. Ah, uh, so move along. I don't care where you quest, but you can't quest here. Stagecoach driver, how goes your journey? Some dirty, galdern, red renegade banditos made off with my wheels. Fear not, I will retrieve your wheels. Death Spank, without your heroism, we'd be lost. Greetings again, fine lady. Well, what good fortune that you came along again. Of course it's good fortune. Who ever heard of bad fortune? I'm sorry, was that a joke? Not anymore, it's not. Listen, the Red Renegade Bandito Gang took my precious jewelry. Say no more. I'll get your jewelry back, careless damsel. Greetings, ferocious looking man. Oh, I'm more than ferocious. I'm a big game hunter. But alas, I've run out of bullets to kill the last of the ferocious beasts. I suppose you want me to fetch you some bullets. Oh, did I say bullets? <laughs> I meant I have no gun to kill the last of the ferocious beasts. I can fetch you a mighty gun to... No, uh, I mean, I could never impose on you like that. Then what do you need? I need you to kill the Sandy Desert Worm Queen and return with its trophy shell. Yes, that does sound easier than just buying you a gun and some bullets. Oh, then beware, brave hero. Dangerous creatures are dangerous.
Greetings, Hermit of the Oasis. <laughs> well, it was a wonderful day till you showed up. <laughs> Tell me your troubles. The only trouble I have is you. I came here to be alone. Go away! Go fight some suicidally dangerous, hideous dangers or something. Hmm, sounds fun. Spelunka. Please enter that infested cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Spelunka. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A sandy desert crystal. Splendid! See you at the next cave! Man of the Desert. Call me Lawrence. 
I've been wandering around this desert for a green's age. You see, I'm raising a militia. I can't convince people to throw their lives away for me. I have army experience. Those lives are as good as thrown. Splendid. Go forth and enlist sand ghouls for me. Sand ghouls? Yes, and collect their pinky fingers as a sign of their blood oath to me. Greetings, big game hunter. I have brought you a Worm Queen shell. Perfect! You've proven yourself worthy. Perhaps the dangerous giant spider will be a creature worthy of your skills. Then I will seek and destroy this spider. I mean, how big could it be? Right. Uh, bring me its spinneret when you're done. Oh, I'm so proud of you right now.
Greetings again, fine lady. Here is your jewelry. Why, thank you, Mr. Deathspank. Is there anything else I can do for you, damsel? And I'm feeling much better. Oh, but the stagecoach driver still needs help. Please talk to him. Stagecoach driver, I have recaptured the wheels for your stagecoach. Thank you kindly, Despike. Now we can continue on our journey. Greetings, Lawrence. Here are the sand ghoul pinky fingers. Brilliant. I hope it isn't too late for the big push. Whatever it is we're pushing. Again, engineer, 
Death Bank. I'm lucky you came along. It's always lucky when I come along. Just as follows in my wake. Well, there's another blockage and we're all out of nitroglycerin. Fortunately, I have this lit stick of dynamite. Give me that dynamite, engineer. Death's Bank does not fear quickly burning fuses. Here you go, but be fast, or the last thing through your mind will be your boots. Greetings, merchant of elixirs. Let's see what... Greetings, researcher. I seem to have mispl... Not a... Greetings, sheriff. Here is Mr. Piddleford's hat. Now Mr. Piddleford can stop his brain from freezing. You see, it happened before. Greetings, Sheriff. Death Spank, can you help me one more time? The last and greatest gang, the Blue Basin Banditos, stole my gunslinger gloves. Without them, I can't do even the simplest of paperwork. I'll find your gunslinger gloves, Sheriff. A 
lost and found is empty. <laughs> Greetings again, Prospector. I have a rock sample for you. A rock from the, um, ba -do 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 -ly, uh, place. You trying to pull a fast one? This rock isn't from any of the caves I asked you to investigate. Here is a rock from the cave in the dinosaur graveyard. Hand it over. Nope, no bacon here. Here is a rock from the cave in the sandy desert. Is my quest for El Bacano finally complete? This looks promising. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, curses. This is fool's bacon. I'm positive the next sample you'll find will have bacon for sure. Spelunka. Please enter that infested cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me.
Greetings, Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed. A cactus forest crystal. Oh, nice. See you at the next cave.
greetings again, Prospector. I have a rock sample for you. Here is a rock from the cave in the cactus forest. Thanks. Hmm. Not a hint of bacon in it. I'm positive the next sample you'll find will have bacon for sure. Greetings, researcher. I have your reading from the Thunglith in the Cactus Forest. Excellent. The data gathered is perfect. Thank you. Can you help me one more time, Death Spank? I need a reading from the Thongolith on the North Pole. Remember, drop an instrument by the Thongolith for a few seconds, and it will gather all the data it needs.
Greetings, ye all. Looks like you could use a heroic friend. <laughs> I sure could. You see, while I was sleeping, those monks stole my prospecting pans. How am I supposed to prospect for bacon without a complete set of prospecting pans? Lucky for you, I've been helping minor characters such as yourself for a while now. Let me see what I can rustle up. Greetings, Forger of the Frontier. You gotta help me get my money back. Were you robbed? Not, uh, well, not really. I was playing cards with a few of the banditos. Sounds like you lost it fair and square. It wasn't just regular money. It was my lucky money, and I need it back. Oh. Seeing that it wasn't normal money, the hero known as Deathspank will see what he can do. Greetings, arms dealer. Show me your very best weapons. Stagecoach driver. Oh, Death Spank! We were on our merry way, minding our own business. Uh, where is your stagecoach? A group of blue basin banditos came out of nowhere and stole it. Oh, ho, ho! A whole stagecoach? That's incredible! I will rescue it from these impressive banditos. Oh, that's right nice of you, Death Spank. Greetings again, fine lady. You look distressed once more. Oh, you're right, Mr. Death Spank. You can read me like an open book. I usually wait for the movie. The Blue Basin Bandito Gang took something I must get back very soon. You can count on me, time-sensitive damsel. They took my feminine products, and I need them back very soon. I'm on it. Wait. What? Feminine products? <sighs> Well, just don't let any of the other heroes find out about this.
Greetings, stagecoach driver. I have your stagecoach right here. Thank you, Death Spank. I'm ready to continue. However, the little lady here still needs help. And we'll never speak of how you got that stagecoach in your inventory. Hmm, that's probably wise. Greetings again, fine lady. I believe these belong to you. Well, I declare. You are a true hero to all damsels. Yes, that's the idea. Again, Conductor, if that is who you really are. Well, I'm definitely not the engineer, right? I mean, why would I lie? What are you doing here? I'm waiting for something from the uh, engineer to help clear the tracks. How do you suppose all those rocks fell onto the tracks? That be gravity. Oh, fascinating. Do you enjoy your job? Well, after I gave up becoming a professional dancer, this was next on my list. So, trains are pretty exciting, eh? Well, only if you lack a million tons of modern technology. Can you say all aboard? For me? All aboard! Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Ha-ha! I love that. See you later, Conductor. Again, engineer. I need more dynamite. Here you go. But you'll have to get it to my conductor and fast. Or this town's gonna be raining hero bits for days. Again, Conductor, I have some lit dynamite for you. Whoa, easy now. Quick, give that to me. Fire in the hole! Again, engineer. Death Spank! You're just in time! I'm a firm believer in punctuality. There's yet another blockage up ahead, and now we're out of dynamite. 
Why don't you deliver this highly corrosive acid to my conductor at the blockage? I'm not afraid of massive scarring. Give it to me. Better hurry. If you hold on to this too long, you'll die quick as a fiddle. again, engineer. I need more highly corrosive acid. Very well, then. I hope you're prepared for this. You'll need nerves of steel and hands of fortified ceramic. Lawman, I am Death Bank, and I also enforce the law. High fives all around, yeah! Howdy, Death Bank. I'm deputy around here. <laughs> then the deputy hand greeting will suffice. I have a warrant for you from the Sheriff of Strumfuggle. Perfect. I've been stuck here waiting for that. Have you been a deputy for a long time? Hmm, let me see here. Sheriff hired me back when uh, there was you know, carry the four, six from eight, double a niner. I'd say about a week now. What do you know about this factory? Well, it's the official TGIW's food making factory. It's where they make all their delicious food and foodie spy products. I don't know what they put in it, but their food is incredible. <laughs> hmm. Although one time I did find a retainer in my lasagna. What's your favorite TGI Wharton's dish? If I had to choose one, I guess I'd say their shepherd's pie. Wharton says it's 20% more shepherd than every bite. What can you tell me about these robots? Well, I heard Wharton hired some scientist and his daughter to make them. Name of Eisenbein, I recollect, lives somewhere far to the east. Anything new to report? 
Nothing to report, lawman. What do you need a warrant for anyways? Well, lots of folks have gone missing lately. Sheriff's got a hunch the factory's connected, so he sent me to investigate. He stayed back to catch up on paperwork. So you need a warrant to conduct your investigation? That's right. You can't just run around fighting and killing whatever you like. Oh, you don't say. What do you think is going on here? I don't think anything funny is going on. Although this factory did go up in a hurry, and that Wharton is pretty mysterious. And when people were getting jobs here, they stopped to coming home. My deputy lawman instincts say it's just a lot of overtime. Anything I can help with? What I need is a lawman to deliver an eviction notice to a group of monks. Those no good inner peace types are laid on the rent and need to go. It's time to enforce the law. Take this eviction notice and post it on the sign in front of their temple building. Mushroom, a zigzag, and a star on it. All safe and sound. Give them to me. That bacon will be mine now. Mine! <laughs> I need you to... F You'll have to give me the key I already gave you first. I ag All right. It needs to have a... Mushroom. And a... Zigzag. And a... Star. Oh, this should do the trick.
Greetings, secondary lawman. I have delivered the eviction notice. Perfect. No longer will we have to suffer their quiet contemplation. You've been a great help, Despank. Spelunka. Please, enter the dark and forbidding cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Strange men, your wife bid me to find you. You know my wife? Prove it. Describe her to me. Well, she has a great personality. <laughs> you mean she's a devil spawn harpy of a woman? Sure, and that too. <laughs> you can't take me back to that woman. Get lost. Are you sure you won't return to your wife? How about I just return a little piece of you? Maybe an arm? Hmm, you just gave me an idea. I had a meaningless keepsake around here somewhere. But I think some ants stole it and dragged it into that cave. 
Go get the keepsake from the ants and take it to her. <laughs> but keep your trap shut. She'll know what it means. <gasps> and promise you won't say anything. <laughs> Seems irregularly heroic, but very well. <laughs> Excellent! Team Spelunker! Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A Blood Mountain's crystal! Oh, great! See you at the next cave! Did you find my husband yet? I have a keepsake of your husband's. Oh, he would never part with that unless... Is he dead? Silence means yes. Yeehaw! I'm finally rid of that good-for-nothing sloth-loving pig. With him gone, the farm is mine. Hmm. Maybe I'll put up drapes. Again, Derek Oil. I have yet another magazine for you from Rich Cabin. Oh, this face rubbing is really starting to get out of hand. Luckily, my copy of Financial Philistine just came in, and I'm on the cover. You show them this, and maybe that'll be the end of it. 
Goodbye, Teddy Coil. Again, Ritz Cabin, I have yet another magazine for you from Derek Oil. Hmm, not bad. But that rag will let anyone on the cover. I'm especially proud of being called Boss Man in this month's Bourgeoisie Quarterly. Take him this magazine. Yeah, rub that face. Oil. I have yet another, another, another magazine for you from Rich Kevin. Boy, we Rich sure do get a lot of magazine subscriptions. But it's time to finish this once and for all. This magazine should prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm the richest in the land. <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy Coil. Again, Rich Kevin, I have yet another magazine for you from Derek Oil. What? How? Huh. Well played, Derek Oil. Well played. I guess he wins this round. Greetings, person who greets people. Well, 
Welcome to the TGI Wharton's factory headquarters. Is there anything I can help you with today? What's the buzz around the water cooler? Well, Gerald was caught cheating on Cindy with Tim. The cat! And Terry went in for knee surgery for a broken foot. If you have a card, I'd love to sign it. Oh, and I heard more people went missing last week. People were missing before, and now there's more. Oh, it's probably nothing. It is flu season after all. I don't know. Sounds suspicious to me. People seem to go missing around these parts all the time. No big deal. Ms. Wandle Ranger told me not to worry about it, so I don't. Oh, this place smells like something died. This is where we work hard to make delicious food for shipping to our many family restaurants. That smell is just one of the many wonders of packaging processed meat. Are you sure it's safe to eat? <laughs> Certainly. Everything we do here is supervised by Wharton Wandle Ranger herself. Wharton is real? I thought she was fake like that Colonel guy. You mean you've never heard of the Warden Wandle Ranger? Well, she's only the most incredible chef ever in the history of the world. A regular rags to riches story. She is truly an inspiration. Tell me, is there good money in rags? Well, she came from nothing, farming dirt with her father on the dusty plains. Now skip to the part about the riches. Her discovery of a special secret ingredient propelled her to instant fame and fortune. Her culinary talent is without equal. We are lucky she has decided to share her gift. Oh, secret ingredient, eh? I'd like to get in on that action. Not likely. Only Ms. Wandle Ranger knows, and she keeps it hidden in her office. Perhaps I could bribe someone from her family. I'm afraid they disappeared under mysterious circumstances years ago. I'd like to see Wharton Wandle Ranger. Certainly. Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. I am Death Spank. Everybody needs an appointment. Except employees, of course. Ms. Wandle Ranger is always happy to serve the employees. I'd like to become a TGI Wharton's employee. You've certainly come to the right place. Oh, but you'll also need to get a TGIW uniform. Successfully pass the drug test. And sing the official TGIW birthday song. I'd like to make an appointment to see Warden Wondle Ranger. Certainly. I think there is an open slot sometime in, mm, Febtober? Morning or afternoon? That's months away. Get her on the phone to speak to me. Ms. Wandle Ranger is currently occupied and away from her office. Probably using her amazing culinary talent to solve world hunger. I should get going. I have quests to do. Have a nice day.
Greetings, Lucy Eisenbein. I have scanned a Mark 7 robot and present you with a mighty printout. Wunderbar. Now I can program the control crystal in no time. There, there, go to 10, and then this. Ha, the programming is complete. The Tricore 7 can only be damaged by the power surge of a Mark 6 robot being destroyed. How wonderfully contrived. Indeed. Take this control crystal and drop it on the ground near the Tricore 7. It will channel a destroyed Mark 6's overload surge towards the Tricore 7. I need very yield. Greetings, engineer, pretending to be a conductor. Hi there. Look, I'm definitely the conductor. I have some highly corrosive acid for you. Then let me take it and dissolve this troublesome rock. I mean, uh, acid in the hole! Explorer. The name's Clark, but my friends call me Lewis, and you've come at a good time. My expedition has just hit a major roadblock. Oh, you should really watch where you're driving then. But I wasn't. Just listen. I camped next to this lake last night, and when I woke up this morning, all my supplies were washed away. I'll recover them for you, careless driver.
Spelunker. Please, enter that horrific cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A Sierra Mountains crystal. Brilliant! See you at the next cave! Again, engineer. Death Bank! This time we're in a mess of trouble. I'm sure I can get to the bottom of your troubled mess. There's no blockage this time. Just bad planning. You see, there's a mountain in front of us and no way around it. You have to help us, Death Bank. We need a way through the mountain. I'll do whatever it takes. Hmm. To get through the mountain, I must first think like the mountain. We must learn from the mountain. Learn from the mountain. Learn from the... <laughs> I've got it!
Greetings, Lewis Clark. I have recovered your lost supplies. Oh, thank you! The expedition is back on track!
and the bathroom keys are hanging on the hooks to the left of the main entrance. Though, where you're going, you won't even need a bathroom. Now, for the final part of your orientation, just come over here with me and I'll give you a lesson in meat pounding. <laughs> administrative support attendant. About my employee application. <laughs> I have passed your drug test receptionist. Really? I had you pegged as a dirty hippie. Dirty maybe, but hippie? Not in this lifetime, sister. Can you teach me the TGIW birthday song? You mean you don't already know it? Why would I? Well, I just assumed you'd been to a TGIW's on your birthday. My birthday is celebrated with my two best friends, Justice and Vanquishing. If you can prove it's your birthday, you can hear it at the newest TGIW franchise. Oh, what's the TGIW uniform? It's a vest with a minimum of six pieces of flair. Uh, vest? It's like a jacket without sleeves. I see. And flair? Buttons and pins that express your unique personality. Is this okay for a uniform? Let's see here. Well, you've got the vest part right, at least. And your flamboyant use of flair is pleasantly expressive. Excellent work, Mr. Deathspank. Your uniform is perfect. Never mind. I should... again, Hermit. Here is the hideous stinker head you wanted. What? I can't believe you didn't die. Yes, I knew you'd be pleased. Uh, then I'll send you on an even more impossible request. Uh, go to the jungle and uh, uh, look for something precious. Uh, uh, like an idol uh, or something that'll be well guarded. Gentle Hermit, looking for well guarded idols is my middle name. Just go away!
out! Pulsing images! Greetings again, Hermit. I have the well-guarded idol you wanted. You're still alive? Huh. That's definitely an idol. Well, let's try this one last time. Uh, get lost! Oh, I see what you're doing. An existential journey to lose oneself. Intriguing. Again, Hermit. I successfully lost myself. I can't win. I just can't win. <laughs> Goodbye, Hermit. Greetings, Banker. I found your trillion dollars, worried Banker. You saved the bank, this bank. And more importantly, you saved me. Now, I'll just keep this little bill secure right here in my wallet. You know, I could use some help with debtors. The bank needs to foreclose on their properties. Take these and post them over the Bank of Strumpuckle signs. Are they evil and savory debtors? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> the bank thanks you in advance, friend.
Greetings, merchant of elixirs. Well, let's... Greetings, Sheriff. I have your gunslinger gloves. Now I have the confidence I need to deliver my own brand of orderly justice. It feels good, real good. Thank you kindly, Despank. <laughs> Greetings again, Tina. Welcome back to TGI Warden's Drive-In. The birthday cake special. First, I'll need you to show me some ID. Ah, here's my ID. According to this, today isn't your birthday. Are you sure? Maybe you're holding it upside down. Come back when it's really your birthday. Greetings again, uptight librarian. Shush! I need a new library card. Lost your card? Why am I not surprised? I didn't lose it. It was eaten by a manatee. Whatever. What was your name again? Death Spank. And your date of birth? October 25th. Your library card is complete, such that it is.
I'm looking.
Greetings, big game hunter. I have a giant spider spinneret for you. Oh, you've done very, very well. Few things are as dangerous as a Pip King. I'd love to have a dangerous Pip King head mounted on my den's wall. You know, there are other words that mean dangerous. I'm not interested in those other words. Only danger. Greetings, Forger of the Frontier. I have your lucky money right here. Oh, my poor little babies! Oh, Daddy won't ever bet you again, even if it's a sure thing. <laughs> well, maybe if it's a sure thing, but only then.
Greetings, big game hunter. Ha <laughs> ha Behold a pipking head. Oh, my God. The dangerous pipking's head. Oh, you are a hero of dangerous legend. Oh, now I need an extra large set of antlers for my lodge. What do you say to a little dangerous barrelope sire hunting, huh? <laughs> Yes, I'd be happy to conquer this dangerous barrel oak for you. Great! After you kill it, just throw away the rest of the carcass. I fear it's dangerous. Banker, I have completed your tasks of foreclosure. The bank can breathe easy now that those horrible deadbeats are defeated. Thanks for your help, this bank. Greetings. Welcome back to the birthday cake special. First, I'll need you to show me some ID. Here's my ID. Wow, today really is your birthday. Another year is finished. We're feeling kind of skittish. You're getting really old, if we may be so bold. But please don't feel so bad. You don't have to be sad. Come on and have some cake. It's better than fried snake. Have a good day. Greetings again, Prospector. I have a rock sample for you. Here is a rock from the cave in the Blood Mountains. Ah, no bacon at all in this rock. Thanks for all your help, Death Spank. Looks like the bacon vein is just a legend after all. Administrative support attendant. Up. Uh, I am ready to sing the birthday song. Prepare yourself. <coughs> and now the year is finished. We're feeling kind of skittish. You're really getting old, if we may be so bold. But please don't feel so bad. You don't have to be so sad. Come on, have some cake. It's better than fried snake. Oh, absolutely wonderful. You even hit the high notes. Looks like you have everything you need to be a TGIW employee. I'll just need you to sign some paperwork. Okay, here's your employee swipe card, which you can use to get to the restricted part of the factory. And now that you're an employee, please go right inside. We need more food, and we can only make it with you.
Greetings, big game hunter. Here are some barrel -o antlers. <gasps> These antlers are dangerously perfect. <laughs> Thank you, hero. Oh, sweet, sweet tentacle monster tips. So delicious yet so dangerous. I was going to say high in cholesterol, but I hunger for the tip. Then I will kill this tentacle monster and bring you the tip. Mmm. I can already taste that sweet, sweet danger. <laughs> I knew it. Greetings, big game hunter. Here is the tip from a tentacle monster. Perfect! <laughs> I will fry it in dangerous oils. My hunt is now complete.
often. I'm proud of you for finding gainful employment. Yeah, but in a cannibalistic death trap. I am full of adopted pride. Keep in mind, adopted pride is about 70% normal pride. わたしの大好物を教えてあげよう。昔から鶏肉が大好きだった。ちょうどよく焼き上がってるともうたまらない。オッケー。ここで禁じられてるとわかっているが、ベーコンは私の大好物の一つである。ライト。さつまいもの力
end world hunger. But you are murdering people. Ah, some are fed and some are dead. Either way, they ain't hungry. But I need the power of the other thongs to complete my work. What do you know about the other thongs? Well, I know that there are other thong bearers out there. And I know I have to kill them in order to take their thongs for myself. I also know that you possess a thong. I want it, Death Spank. So you're the reason everyone's going missing. Didn't I just say that? All I heard was blah, 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 blah. I cook people, blah, blah, blah. Oh, before I serve you, I'll need to check and see if stupidity is a contaminant. Prepare to die, maker of long pig. You think you can defeat me? Very well, then. The oven mitt has been thrown. Before we fight, we cook. Tell your sous chef which ingredients to add. Then we'll see who will be eating who.
I'm back. What? What do you? They simply end the loser. Serve me. Rep. You think very before we fight? Tell you then. Let me share my favorite dishes with you. I have always loved the way chicken tastes, especially when roasted to perfection. Okay. I know it's outlawed around here, but I'd have to say bacon is definitely one of my favorite meats. Right. And a dish with a sweet potato definitely makes any dish taste better. I hear and obey my masters. Let me share my fa I have always loved the way chicken tastes, especially when ro oh. I know it's outlawed or right. And a dish with a sweet potato. I hear. Greetings, clingy orphan. Hey, Daddy D. I'm ready for you to fetch me my ingredients. Get me some chicken and some bacon and a little bit of potato. Right away, Daddy Death Spank. This is the best thing I think I've ever eaten. There's a new chef in town. Ninjas, attack Wharton. Thanks, Death Spank. Oh, and while you're here, I need you to... Let me guess. I have to deliver another package, right? Well, I was going to ask you to refasten my chest plate. But now that you mention it, I do have something that needs delivering. Can you take this to the Thongolith researcher? It's the last one, I promise. Knock him dead, kiddo. Once again, the red-haired woman mysteriously arrives to remove the corrupt thong from its wearer. Greetings, researcher. I have a package to deliver to you from Sandy Brevator. Oh, fantastic. Please send her my kind regards. Goodbye, researcher. <laughs> Greetings, Grimtub. I have recovered your stolen liquor license. Oh, thank you, Death Spunk. The bar is open. I'd like to buy something. Sure, just choose something.
Greetings, um... Show me...
That's way too valuable to grind into cash.
I have completed your mighty quest. Greetings, Captain Taint. Ahoy, matey. I've got some of your pirate ship sailing stuff. I've got that rum you asked for. Ah, there be quality rum. I be taking this for myself as payment. I got your keys back from that drunk Plaid Pete. The keys? I'll not be asking how you procured these from Plaid Pete. Yar! Looks like you be prepared to set sail! Excellent! Swab the decks and ready the cannons! Death Spanks coming on board! Cannons? Need I remind you that your ship to ship combat privileges be suspended? Oh, come on! I said I was sorry about that! Don't push your luck, matey. I've got a pirate ship! The only downside is, I can only get on or off the ship at docks. Still, this is pretty sweet!
Greetings, Spelunker. Please, enter the dark and forbidding cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! An island cave crystal. Looks good. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. My collection is now complete. Greetings, salt of the earth, farmer. I have your unpleasant smelling frost giant manure. You do not disappoint, Deathspack. This is about the most perfect manure I ever done tasted. Bobblewood's days as champion farmer are now numbered. Hoo-wee!
steady as it or stout and skinny as a twig. No one pays attention to poor little me. But one day I'll have peg legs and a ship that's really big. Yaha, yaha, a pirate I shall be. to poor little me, but one day I'll have peg legs and a ship that's really big, yaha yaha, a pirate I shall be. My fearsome pirate lads. I got me a beard, and tis much to be feared. Goes down to my knees, and all covered in fleas. And all you'll have left will be bones.
Scream Exterminator! Here is the final mating gland, Exterminator. Well, that's all of them. High five, my brother. Mademoiselle Drapeau, I have placed all your flags. La nation vous remercie de votre service. Maintenant, laissez-moi seul. That's way too valuable to grind into cash. Greetings, Captain Taint. Hi, matey. I've liberated your treasure map from your mutinous crew. Now's all I need to do is join ye pieces of the map together. Need any help with that treasure map I found for you? Aye, with me map unjigged, I can finally find me treasure again. <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting but not completely unexpected. The treasure is on Cliché Island. Arg, I'll get ye treasure back. Eh, better, but keep working on the accent. Arg! Greetings again, pirate. I have for you a bunch of parrot parts in near mint condition. Ah, many thanks, Zespank. Now, maybe those judgmental pirates will leave me be. <laughs> Greetings, pirate. I bring to you the unclaimed treasure from Skeleton Island. It's pretty boring as far as treasures go, but here you are. Arr, sweet pennies from heaven. Thanks to you, Death Spank, I feel like a real pirate again.
Greetings, Captain Taint. Ahoy, matey. I have your treasure. Arg, that be good pirate and death spank. Now, leave me to count it. Go on, get! General Snuggle Wuggle Pants. I have some of that stuff you need for the big invasion. With the information on this map, victory is probable. Good work, soldier. I await your return with the rest. What supplies do you need again? For the big invasion of the North Pole, we still need a chunk of solid gold. I'm needed elsewhere, General. Scarlet, I'd like... You know the drill, sweetie. Here's your money, fine-looking lady. Now let's do the hokey pokey. Hop in hush puppies. The saucy Sasquatch. Oh, nice job. Now you wait here while I change into my costume. It's one of those weird-looking locks with three parts again. This lock has a triangle, a diamond, and a... And, uh, diamond, and, uh, crescent. Oh, this shit. Hello. 
Hello again, Scarlet Woman with the heart of gold. I'd like to... <clears throat> you know the drill. Here's your money. Hop and hop. Spider Monkey! Ooh, I like that one. Now you wait here while I change into my costume. Aha! I saw what you were doing just now! You were watching me, ah. Do I have to pay extra? Nobody goes through my stuff and gets away with it! General Snuggle Wuggle Pants. I have some of that stuff you need for the big invasion. Ah, this chunk of gold will do nicely. I'll be melting this down to make medals for the men. Excellent work, soldier. You've procured all the supplies I requested. The invasion is full steam ahead, and I couldn't have done it without your help. We could use a soldier like you for the invasion. What do you say? Let's give them hell, sir. When you're ready to make history, let me know. <laughs> Greetings, General Snuggle. I'm ready to launch the attack on the North Pole. That's the spirit, soldier. Let's give him hell! Justice is about to be served. Evil vanquished and the trodden and down in it in. Ready, boys? With another evil wearer of the corrupt thongs within Death's Bank's grasp, he becomes the leader he was meant to be. The leader he was destined to be. Look to your left. Look to your right. See you at the victory party. Let's move. The fighting went on all day. Taking that beach took its toll in blood, sweat, and innocence. Inch by inch, they pushed forward. Santa's little orcs gave ground slowly, fighting for the evil jolly man. But their will soon gave out to the defender of justice. The day's battle was at an end, but the final push to Santa's lair was still to come. Oh! Huh? 
Greetings, researcher. I have your reading from the Thongolith on the North Pole. Excellent. The data gathered is perfect. Thank you. You have all the readings you need, researcher. There is only one Thongolith left, but its location has forever eluded me. If you find any clues as to its whereabouts, please inform me immediately.
Greetings, rotund figment of holiday mirth. Ho, 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 ho! What have we here? A naughty little boy? Well, I'm no naughty little boy. I am Deathspank. I think I'll be the judge of who's naughty and nice around here. <laughs> Whoa, Santa, what happened to you? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you turned bad. <laughs> Have I really? I haven't changed at all. I'm still the same old Santa. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> it's the world that has changed, Deathbank, not me. <laughs> How has the world changed according to your delusional mind? Christmas has lost its meaning. It's not loved as much as it used to be. It used to be the king of all holidays. Kids waited year round for it, but it's slipping in the polls. Did you know that Christmas came in number two last year? <sighs> Do you know what holiday is now more looked forward to than Christmas? Groundhog Day. April Fool's Day. People would rather play cruel pranks on each other than exchange gifts. Oh. Well, pranks are cheaper, you know. See? Even you can't appreciate the true spirit of Christmas. Well, no more! I'm taking Christmas back, by any means necessary. You're killing people, Santa! <laughs> it's war out there! I'll show the world the true spirit of Christmas! <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't involve a body count. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. And I'm making a very big omelet! <laughs> Is that a thong I see upon your person? Oh, so nice of you to notice. This, the mighty thong of generosity, is perfect for me. Well, it's certainly not generous to your figure. Its power is helping me bring the true spirit back to Christmas. And once I unite the other thongs, I will make every day Christmas forever! <laughs> Christmas every day? Hmm. What would be the point? Think of it, Deathspank. Every day would be about giving and sharing. There'd be no time for war or hardship. Just companionship and eggnog. <laughs> Nobody can drink that much eggnog. It's not possible. You'll understand one day, Deathspank, after I've revived the true spirit of Christmas. <laughs> By killing anyone who stands in your way. Of course. And then I'll collect the other thongs, and Christmas will reign for eternity. <laughs> What do you know about the other thongs? I know there are six thongs in existence, and the more you have, the better. When all thong are united upon a single groin, the ultimate power is revealed. <laughs> I know the locations of every thong, <laughs> except for one, of course. One thong is missing? No one knows the location of the Thong of Peace. Of course, <laughs> peace is the last thing on my mind right now. There will be plenty of time to search for it later, after your Thong of Justice is mine. <laughs> so, which am I? Naughty or nice? Uh, let me check my list. <laughs> Checking it twice? <laughs> there must be some kind of mistake. <laughs> Nobody makes the nice list. Nobody! Says the home invasion specialist. Oh, I can't kill someone on the nice list. <laughs> I can't tell you how disappointed that makes me. 
but I can throw them into the dungeon with no exit. <laughs> I always pictured the North Pole to be less weaponized. <laughs> Bringing back the true spirit of Christmas has proven more difficult than I thought. There's a conspiracy at work here, Deathspank. A dark conspiracy. By whom? The naughty, of course. They don't want Christmas to come back. They're out there, pulling the strings. They want me dead. No one is out to get you, Santa. You are a liar, Deathbank, just like the others. What others? I had to strike first, you see. It was a matter of survival. I delivered my special presents to the towns and the airbase. What special presents? <laughs> Let's just say this year, their stockings were filled with boom! <laughs> Where does that giant trap door lead? <laughs> it goes down to a giant furnace we call the Wish Burner. <laughs> <sighs> you burn the children's Christmas letters? <laughs> it's all part of the naughty conspiracy. The letters are laced with anthrax. <laughs> Did you actually see any anthrax? Well, I can't take that kind of chance. Not before I bring back the true spirit of Christmas. <laughs> what kind of toy is the dungeon with no exit? Is it a fire truck? Isn't it obvious? Don't overestimate me. <laughs> it's a dungeon with no exit. You go in, but you don't come out. <laughs> well, how do you get out then? I don't think you're listening. There is no exit. <laughs> right. I understand that bit. But is there an exit? So, what's in this dungeon with no exit anyway? Oh, certainly not an exit. That's for sure. What you will find is the remains of those who went in before you. Then, there's the wish burner, my giant letter disposal furnace. Oh, and a vicious monster made out of burning coals that obeys my every command. Why would you have a coal monster? <laughs> coal just isn't the deterrent it used to be. So I thought, let's make the coal hungry. <laughs> now that's a deterrent. Of course, the naughty children don't tend to live long enough to change their ways. <laughs> Still, I say it's an improvement. <laughs> Your reign of tyranny ends here, Claus. <laughs> and who will stop me? You? <laughs> Perhaps eternity in the dungeon with no exit will change your perspective. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello again, Santa. Oh, 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 oh. I find your persistence to be very naughty. Your reign of tyranny ends here, Claus. <laughs> and who will stop me? You? <laughs> Perhaps eternity in the dungeon with no exit will change your perspective. <laughs> Why aren't you unconscious? Protective headgear. That hat? It looks like reindeer skin. No, 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 no. I think it's elk. <laughs> Elks are great. Don't you lie to me. You killed my pets. Cold monster, destroy this murderer. <laughs> Let's go. and dispenser of justice, moments away oh, from death. Oh, 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 oh. You can't kill me! You don't want to be known as the guy who killed Santa! As with the other evil wearer of the thongs, the mysterious yet charming Sandy shows up to perform the ritual removal. Great, that's the last of the thongs. Finally, all is right with the world again, thanks to the heroic efforts of Death Spank. Well, not exactly. There's still one more thing left to do, but I can't talk about it here. Haven't you dangled this metaphorical carrot long enough? Meet me at my secret base. I promise, I'll tell you everything. Oh, and you'll probably need this. Greetings, researcher. I've got this thing that kind of looks like it came from a thongolith. Could it be from the missing one you said you've been searching for? 
No, it can't be, but it is. After so many years of searching, the final piece of the puzzle is mine. Now, I can finally bring my life's work to fruition. Oh, wait here. This will only take a minute. Here it is, my fantastic patent-pending teleportation device. And for your part in aiding me on my scientific endeavors, I shall let you be the first to use it. Shouldn't you test that sort of thing out on a cute animal first? Oh, sadly, cute animals for research purposes are quite expensive. I figured a hero would be the next best test subject to use. Secret moon base, Sandy. Death Spank, you're here. I guess that means it's time to put the final phase of the plan into action. Is that the artifact behind you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that worthless thing. Worthless? I've been searching for it my whole life. Or at least the parts I can remember. You told me the artifact was incredibly important! I told you what you needed to know, Deathsbank, to set you on the righteous path. What is the artifact for, then? It's a worthless object. An object I use to manipulate you into helping me achieve my goal. I'd say it all worked perfectly, wouldn't you? I got it for two bucks at a garage sale. So what's next on the agenda? Recovering all six thongs of virtue, Deathsbank. There's just one more thong left for me to obtain. Right! Wait. Wow. 
something doesn't add up. Death Spank, pay attention. So there are two thongs left? I'm confused. The thong I need is yours. The thong of justice. I'm no mathematician, but I think we're short a thong. You see, I had to fix the mistake my grandfather made so long ago. But I lacked the power I needed to achieve lasting peace. To get that kind of power, there was only one path open to me. Reroll in your character stats? No. I had to wear the thong of peace myself. Once it was on, I achieved a clarity of mind and soul unlike anything I'd ever experienced. I knew exactly what I had to do to bring everlasting peace. I have to destroy the thongs, Deathbank. And yours is the last one I need. <laughs> wow, I'm hungry for some TGIWs. You in? What? No! Deskbank, focus. I could part with my thong if you make it worth my while. In case you've forgotten, dear Deathspank, in order to remove a thong, the one wearing it must be dead. Run down the curtain and join the choir invisible? Yes. And I'm afraid you are no exception. To remove your thong, you need to die. But because your thong just resurrects you at the nearest outhouse when you die, I need you to willingly submit to me. So how about it, Deathspank? Will you be my hero? sacrifice myself so that you may retrieve my thong. You're making a very noble sacrifice. I admire that. I really do. Now, strictly for legal reasons, I need you to repeat after me. I, Deathspank, being of sound mind and body. I, Deathspank, being of sound mind and body. Agree to let the undersigned party execute me. Agree to let the undersigned party execute me. In the manner of their choosing until I am fully dead. In the manner of their choosing until I am fully dead. I hereby relinquish my thong of justice to the executing party. I hereby relinquish my heroic thong of justice to the executing party. Okay, then we're almost done. Now, sign here. And here. And here. Initial here. Sign here. And initial here. And we're done. Are you ready for everything to be over, Deathspank? A truly heroic end to a life paved in blood and steel and bacon. Let's get this show on the road. Now close your eyes. On that day, Death's Bank was more of a hero than any other. He was a true defender of justice, a true vanquisher of evil, and a true hero to the downtrodden. Killing him was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But if his thong were to ever become more corrupt, there would be no defeating him. But where he was strong, I was weak. You see, my grandfather never got to finish the Nine Thongs of Virtue. His vision was never realized because of the meddling from upper management, which corrupted the thongs in the first place. But I could not bring myself to destroy the thongs. They were evil and corrupt, but there was good in them if you just looked through the flaws. So I hid the thongs in a place where they would never be found. Maybe one day I'd finish them. Maybe. But now, 
I grow old, and my tale finally comes to an end. I do have another story to tell. The story of how it all began. But I am tired, and I must rest. These people made the magic happen with technology! Greetings, Egg. You're as insane as the rest of them. You must be stopped. Well, we'll just see about that now, won't we? Sandy died that day like a true hero. A corrupt, annoying, lecturing hero, but a hero in these eyes. I buried her on top of a small hill where she could look down on my new wicked cool moon base and remain a constant reminder of why I must continue to be a defender of justice, a vanquisher of evil, and a hero to the downtrodden. But the world needs a hero too much to destroy these thongs. I also figured, if one thong was this great, six thongs would be even better. Plus, I always wanted to learn how to cook. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the spank phone ringing. The commissioner probably needs me. Behold the credits! <laughs> 